Coming from the vault is the 2017-18 grand final. 22 minutes gone. Oh, no! The sirens, the sirens gone. There it is. What a game of footy. The guys in the box told us, or told me that the game was a draw, so I tried to get to the players as quick as I could to calm them down to make sure that if we're going into overtime, you know, we had to you know, make sure that we could steal those five minutes either way and make sure we could win the game. Um, yeah, we had a great season 2017-18. We were a very strong unit. Um, we recruited very well uh, early on in the year. We got some really strong bodies and some really hard gut-running players um, in the types of Cal Kari and Blake Piggott and uh, Nick Roker. So we, we went and um, recruited very well through the season. We were very strong throughout the, uh, the season 17-18, you know, losing only one game to Waratahs in the minor round seasons. And uh, yeah, it was um, a very, very well accomplished um, minor round uh, premiership season for the Southern Districts Footy Club. Yeah, we played Darwin Buffaloes on a couple of occasions um, early on in the season. You know, we got them when they weren't so strong. We end up running out big winners, about 113 points, and somewhere in the mid 80s uh, for the second game. But uh, post Christmas, Darwin Buffaloes got on a bit of a run, and they beat some high quality sides and got themselves into a final. And uh, eventually played us off in a in the first semi, and they got us uh, with a great start, seven goal to one, first quarter, and it was very hard to peg back in some dewy conditions. Yeah, it was a few years for the Southern Districts Footy Club playing off in, in a grand final in the big dance, as everyone likes to call it. Um, I think we were looking at 11 years from our, f our last grand final, and Darwin Buffaloes were pretty similar territory, and they were at 12 years. So uh, the stakes were quite high for both clubs, and it was, uh, was going to be a hotly contested game. So uh, coming into the grand final, it was uh, a very unknown. We knew that there was a, a cyclone forming off the golf and it was coming pretty fast. And Cyclone Marcus was probably a day away from the grand final and we got the news that it's been cancelled. So it was very difficult times. The players have you know, built themselves up all year. Their emotions were running high. You know, both clubs were on a high and they wanted to play this hotly contested game. So you know, Marcus threw a spanner in the works and it was you know, the uneasiness of the unknown was, was difficult to adjust to. So it was uh, quite chaotic for the Southern Districts Footy Club. We knew that airports were getting shut down. We had flights that were cancelled trying to get players in. Eventually the, the airports were open for one particular player, which was Mark Jamar, and we got Mark um, into Alice Springs via Brisbane, um, and then he drove up 12 hours in a car with young Brandon Rusker. So it was a, a big trip for him, a logistic nightmare, but we had to make sure that we took the opportunities when they arose, when this, uh, the airports opened, to get our key players in. Yeah, the original plan, once it was postponed, was uh, to move it to a Sunday, and uh, hopefully Marcus had passed by, but Sunday came and it was still a no-go zone for a footy to take place in the Territory. And uh, we sat down, we had a meeting, and then it was, uh, spoken about um, you know postponing the game again and at that meeting you know there was some banter being said between the groups but it was actually quite uh, it was quite impressive that the way the clubs both handled it but you know the players at the end of the day have trained for six months and played you know footy week in week out you know, and bashed up their bodies quite a fair bit and put a lot of you know kilometers under their legs and a lot of sacrifice and commitment so you know Matty Campbell and myself was, were speaking and you know, with the rest of the executive uh, team, we wanted to play the game and we said, you know, tongue in cheek, that we'd play it regardless in a backyard park because we wanted to know who the best was at that time because both teams were so evenly matched. Yeah, you know, it was hard, it was up and down. We've had, we had guys up here, you know, for a long periods of time. Leroy Jetta, for one, you know, probably almost cost himself a, a WA contract um, with Peel Thunder because he chose to stay up and uh, against his coach's wishes. But, you know, he committed to the club and he committed to the cause. And, you know, Leroy was up and stayed up for, you know, nearly two weeks and, you know, pro possibly cost himself a waffle contract at the end of the day. But having Leroy Jetta out there on the, on the day kicking, you know, three goals was, you know, very influential to us. So when the, the date was finally settled, we, you know, we had to get back to normality uh, very quickly because uh, the guys were up and they were down. We were training, we weren't training. We, you know, we had to postpone. We had to get them emotionally ready to play and physically ready to play on a Saturday. Then it moves to Sunday. When Wednesday was settled that we were playing the game, you know, we very quickly turned our mindsets to that Wednesday and prepared very quickly. Like on a Monday, we, we did our normal routine and we trained a light jog on a, on a Tuesday just to get the club and everybody together to make sure that our mindsets were clicked on ready for a 7 p.m. start on a Wednesday night. Now I think it's the first of its kind, but I'm, um, you know, a, a great, 
you know, congratulations has to go to the AFL NT, the way that they handled the situation and, uh, you know, to give us a time slot of Wednesday, you know, regardless, we were just happy that we were playing this game. As I said earlier on, that it was hotly contested and we needed the, uh, we needed both teams to find out who was the best for 17-18. So it was um, fitting that we had it on a Wednesday night and first of its kind and we drew a big crowd, which was still, um, you know, a testament to the NT people that they came out in droves and followed their clubs. Yes, the storm clouds have just rolled in, a little bit of lightning in the, diff in the distance. We're not surprised this uh, grand final has been postponed and rescheduled so many times. Fingers crossed that we can get through it tonight. Uh, Ashley Manakaris with me as well as we're looking at those clouds over there to the east and thinking go away yeah we are and I tell you what uh, the, it'll be an interesting night because the last three weeks nothing will surprise me that happens tonight <laughs> districts may well have been have may well have finished on top the buffs were the first side in so nothing everything could happen tonight Who knows? and Tavis Perry with us as well Tavis uh, nothing surprises you either I wouldn't have thought tonight and not by any means you know when we, when we drove to the ground it wasn't a breath of wind the sun was out the ground looks absolutely immaculate and then not uh, five minutes before the first bounce, the lightning rolls in. So who knows what we're going to see tonight. Unbelievable. Give us your tip, Ashley. Oh, gee, that's a hard one. Uh, I think Southern Districts and probably by about 13 points. Tab? Very similar. Southern Districts by 15 points. Oh, gee, I don't, I don't like to all go for the same team, but I've got to agree. I think Southern Districts might win this. The, the last time they played, Darwin got a seven-goal start. Yep. I don't think they'll get that tonight. It's going to be really important that they do get a really good start. I'm not sure they can. No, but the conditions actually suit, I would have thought, Darwin because of the pace of Darwin. Darwin's probably the quickest side in the competition, but Districts have got some quality ball carriers. Leroy Jetta's out there. So is Rory O'Brien from Western Australia. Sandover medalist, Tavis. That, that bolsters up the quality of any midfield, doesn't it? Oh, no doubt about it. They're, they're, they're a star-studded lineup, you know. Leroy, Jetta, Jared Brennan, Mark Jamer, Richard Tambling and Ed Buller. That's a, that's a mountain of AFL experience in this district's lineup. But I wouldn't count Buffaloes out, Charlie, because they have come here on a motion and they'll play with it. OK, after 18 rounds of uh, footy and some finals, it is underway. Here's Tavis Perry. Uh, Mark J. Mark gets the ball down. Jakey Road Duggan boots it forward for Districts. Leading in the race is Zach Stevenson, but it's Dylan Barry comes charging through. He's met head on in a good tackle. Kev Maroney dives over the ball and taps it out to Jared Stokes. Really solid player for the Darwin Buffaloes, and he kicks it out wide and finds Timmy Eldridge. Timmy Eldridge across half back now, runs to the 50 metre line, goes along the boundary line. It's a wobbly old kick. It's going to land in some space. Anderson gets there, gathers it, does pretty well too. Stephen Anderson gave the handball away. Kick out too wide, out of bounds on the full. And Southern Districts get the free kick to bring it all back into play. Some of that early pace we just saw then from Jared Stokes across that half back to Timmy Eldridge. So we'll see a lot more of that as the night goes on. Had a super year, Jared Stokes, and here's Dylan Barry, the boy from Alice Springs, with that long raking left foot. No one can mark it. O'Brien gets hit high from Jalen Clark and gets the free kick. Got a few options in board. Decides to go long and wide to the Michael Long centre pocket to Willie Farrar, the captain of districts, who will get a 50 metre penalty, and he has. Gee, Savika. Well, just stupid. That was silly. He was well outside his range. A little bit of a... Uh... Just early early game jitters here, I think, from Zavika. Oh, I just think he... Um, perhaps a little bit of adrenaline there, Charlie, I think. What do you think? No, no, no. Uh, I don't think so. But the, the, definitely the free kick was there. And that's... Ex but that's exactly what Darwin didn't want. No, correct. So here's this man, the leading goal kicker in the competition. He's been a beauty. He's kicked 100 before. Will Farrer from point-blank range. Early stages of the grand final. Slots it. Southern District's on the board with a major. Yeah, yeah. within the first minute, really. Uh, first real entry inside forward 50 is, is a bit of a dynamo. Will Farrag went up here. Obviously, he has a mountain of respect for him and what he's done over his career, and he'll be very, very relieved to get that first goal on the board. Yeah, certainly uh, he is a key target for him, and if you think about it, Buffs, I'm not sure that, that Savika will be the matchup that stays on him. But uh, just seeing here... Rory O'Brien, not afraid to uh, put his head over the ball, earned the free kick, and then um, sets, up, sets it up for his skipper. Gene Anderson was waiting for that spillage. It didn't come yeah. to him. Ball back to the centre. So goal to their star full forward in Will Farrer. Sullivan gets in there. Jamar beat him, thumped it out wide. Look for Josiah Farrer. Farrer, a one, and kick forward by Southern Districts. Goes out of play. And Ed Barlow with that kick. 
and it just lands inside the field of play and rolls out. You can see there, Charlie, the umpires have got black armbands on. It's for a uh, long-time member, Ray Holswich, who died earlier... Uh, uh, died, sorry, died about 10 days ago, unfortunately. So here's the throw in directly down in front of us. Gets right over the back, punched away there by Jay Maher. It was a thumping kick. The former Melbourne Ruckman did pretty well with that hit out. Southern District get their first little bit of holding on there on Josiah Farrar. Ball spills to Timothy Eldridge. Gets a wobbly old kick. Puts it in the direction of Joe Anderson. Outside 50. Spears for Shillabia. Puts it low. And uh, Todd Miles it is, in fact. Takes it around his knees and takes a terrific mark. That was a great mark, great pass. What I did notice then, though, uh, Tavis or Charlie, I don't know if you picked up, there are actually two Southern District's defenders. Just watch this pass from Anderson. Pinpoint accuracy slide. You can see the two defenders there. I don't know if they were both, if they're both meant to start on him, but uh, certainly they've ended up on him. He normally does a lot of the ruck work as well, don't he? They're throwing him forward, which is a good move. Yeah, they've gone with the double prong here with big miles from the Sandful. Kick looks very good off the boot. He's happy with it. And buff strike back. Basically within the next minute and a half, a fantastic pass there by Joe Anderson to Big Miles. And they've really worked this ball forward. And uh, you can see there Eldridge and Stokes. He's going to be uh, crucial tonight. And what about that physical body there? Knocked it off, and then Anderson picks up the bouncing ball, and he's just all class, this guy. He had the two options there, didn't he? Shillabia yeah. and this man. Yeah. Two big men up forward. And that was a great mark taken there by Todd Miles, and he didn't miss. So goal apiece. Four and a bit minutes gone. It's the grand final from TIO Stadium in Darwin. We've waited all year for that big J-Mark Crouches. And up he goes against Ryan O'Sullivan. Taps it down to Barlow. Barlow gets the kick forward to a bit of space here. Good pick up by Will Farrar. Gets it on to Tim Brook. Tim Brook is a one-out option. Leroy Jenner very dangerous in these situations. He's got a little bit of time and space. Well, he, he gets through and he kicks a goal. Leroy had just had too much time there. A lot of class, but a well done. He's, he's a real bull around goals, Leroy Jetta, and that's why he played 100-odd AFL games for the Essendon Bombers. Well, the thing about that, I suppose, is that the only one who really knew what Leroy Jetta was doing then was Leroy Jetta. And... Uh, Big win out here. That's a crucial win out by Jamar on to Barlow. Straight down. Great, great work there by Farrah. And you can see it. Just a one out. Good use of the body. Just nudges his opponent out, but in the side. Hawks, Hawks, goes. And Rory O'Brien took Burrawunga with him down there, didn't he? Away from... Uh, so he give the create some space for... Uh, Jetta. Ball up in the middle. Jamar got high. Sullivan win the tap down, though. Did it pretty good. Sullivan trying to do some more work. Just tried to poke it out. Didn't work for him. Knocked on and gathered in there quickly by Zach Stevenson. Goes to ground ball and all. But Barlow thinks he's won the free kick. He hasn't. Umpire says nobody's get it. He's going to get it. It was a tied ball and he'll throw it up. Up now, Jamar again. Just ragdolls O'Brien. Gets it wide. Beautiful bit of play, though, from Timmy Aldridge, who started well. Tim Brook gets collected. Good pick up from Barlow. Little handball on to look like Zach Smith. Gets the kick out wide. A little bit of time here for Rory O'Brien, if he can gather. It's a bit of a flick out, and will get called a throw. I wonder where you learned to hit the ball back like that. <laughs> you learn that from what you don't do. Here's a kick from half back along the wing towards the boundary line. Foot race out there. Running for it was Piggott. Handball back. It'll finish up with Piggott. Now he's got it. He can get onto his left boot. Kick wasn't the best. Turned it straight over. Straight into the hands there of O'Sullivan. The big ruckman bangs it inside. 50! And the big lead out there. And a terrific mark taken out there by Shillabia. That's his now first run at the foot. It's miles again. again. Well, I'll get it right one of these days. It's Miles again. So Shillabier and Miles both up in that forward line. And that worked pretty well. Big task by, uh, for Zach Smith here, though, to man up against Miles. He's, uh, he's not, that, not that big, Zach Smith. He's had a great year for districts, but this is a matchup that Buss will like. No, but, but what he is, he's very mobile, but he, but he can play big and he can play tall. So not a bad matchup. But what I would have thrown him is the fact that Shillabier is not a full forward and that Miles has started there. As Miles comes in and lines it up. He's had to kick from 50. He's hooked it well to the left, and it's gone out of bounds on the full. It's a bad kick. Bit of a let-off there. As it looks like Rokar brings it in, one-on-one. -on -one. Sam Bono's there, but good bit of pace by Michael Bowden. Good bit of composure. Gets it to Ed Barlow, who's been very busy early. 
the kick just falls short and Zach Stevenson does a good job to get it out of bounds for the Buffaloes just in front of the scoreboard. So districts with a couple, Farrah and Jetta, early stages of the... Early stages of the grand final. Todd Miles won and a miss as well. Throw in on the far side. Out on the wing. A little bit of push and shoving going there. Jamar from the back with the big thump. Knocks it to ground. Handball out from Darwin. Back along the boundary line. Hurried kick. Rolls it up towards half forward. There's some vacant space out there. Running across towards it is Fred Sleeth. Sends it back from whence it came. Up over the wing. At the back, the reach didn't quite get to it. Was Curry left it on the ground, gathered in here, Southern Districts inside 50. It's a great kick. Oh, and it's found that man again. He's going to be a headache today, William Farrer. He is, and it was Dylan Barry that set that up. And uh, part of that Southern Districts midfield, he's a nuggety midfielder, Dylan Barry. And we'll watch it back on replay as Farrer comes back. So he's just collected that ball, and then perfect pass picks out his captain. Savika had a terrific game against him, didn't he, the last time they played. He's not to wear him quite so close here. Here he goes back. Farrah gives it plenty. Might have swung it out to the left. Comes up with a minor score. So a kick, a goal and a miss, similar to uh, Todd Miles at the other end of the ground. And about that, Buffs bring it in quick to a one-on-one -on -one contest. No one's touched it yet. And it's watched over the line there by Dean Staunton. And will be thrown in. That's 60 metres out from District's goal. It's been a fast start. Plenty of scoring and plenty of opportunities so far in this game. Really good start so far. Both sides, by the way, uh, have, have, have at least had shots on goal when they've gone inside their 50, so capitalising on that. O'Sullivan and Jay Mark. Joe Anderson caught in a big tackle, goes to ball ground and all, uh, goes to ground ball and all. Richard Tamling there with the big tackle. Played a lot of AFL footy, didn't he? Richmond and Adelaide. Adelaide. I think he got up near 150 games as Rory O'Brien around that ball. Dylan Barry again, but well stolen there by the Buffs player. And O'Brien gets another high one. Yeah. About yeah. Oh, just on 50 metres out from goal. It'll be interesting to see whether he goes back and has a shot or whether he looks to pass it off from here. He doesn't have any options up forward, Tavis, so I think you'll. So I think you'll find, we'll just watch this replay, but he gets taken high to that first tackle. There it is there. So. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah, straight, straight away. He's got a feeling Richard Tambling went up and said, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> Give it to me, I'll have a shot. He's already demonstrated how handy he is as a player, Rory O'Brien. Why wouldn't he? He's a Sandover medalist. So good to win one of those in West Australia. All but directly in front now. Swings out to the right and gives it a big boost. A big kick, a long kick, a long kick. He's got the journey, he's got the accuracy. Rory O'Brien delivers and Southern Districts get their third. Well, that's the sort of experience you'd be looking for from a player of his calibre, and it rubs off onto the, some of the younger players, and Districts would love this start. They're three goals, one nineteen to one straight goal, and what he's done is, is pretty much what he's done for most of the season, which is he's just put his head over the ball and gone in to pick it up, earned the free kick. Good lesson for young footballers, Tavis. Yeah, he's just, he's just doing the basics really well. You know, him and, him and Ed Barlow have really had a real impact for Districts early, and uh, this guy's been instrumental in their first three goals. The ball goes back up. Jamar 
Taps it down again. Jakey Road Duggan's in there. Here's Richard Tamling, but a good handball there out wide. Gives Timmy Aldridge a chance. As the ball still gets battled out, O'Brien again gets, gets hit high for the third or fourth time already in this quarter. Going to slow it up now. Use all that experience that he's got. Decides to go long down the line. It's a two-on-two, two and he just let Jared Brennan run at that. Savika is a bit off tap here with Willie Farrar, who's been hit. Lace out, 20 metres out from goal. Possibly could have got another 50-metre penalty there. Well, definitely should have got another 50, surely. Ashley Manakaris. Well, I want to see it closer on replay, but the actual pass hit him there, and, and we're just seeing um, the ball will come back, but this is Brennan, and this what is what he's kick. good at. Well judged. Yeah. Look, I, the umpire was in an excellent position there. I think there was a little bit of milking going on, and I think Farrow was falling back anyway, so I probably wouldn't have played it either. Ash? Maybe. As long as you're consistent, Ash. Hey? As long as you're consistent. <laughs> well, I can tell you, from up here, <laughs> being consistent's not hard. <laughs> Three already to the tricolours. And this man, Will Farrow, has got one of them. He's directly out in front, and he's Sucks banged it, on. and somehow got it through. It looked like it was going to miss, yeah. but it was through at the end. They've got four. Four one plays a goal. What are we seeing here? Well, I think what we're seeing here is the, a reversal of what happened in that uh, in that qualifying final where uh, Darwin burst out of the gates and had seven goals on the board before Districts had got into gear, and now we're seeing Districts at four goals. And even though the margin's uh, only still only 18 points, We'll think that uh, in a grand final, that's an important 18 points. Farrah happy about that. Yep. Danger signs early for the buffs with Charlie King. Chris Atkinson's going to do the ruck work. Jamo unchanged already. They've run a couple against him. The bounce is going to start, go outside of the circle. Have to do it all over again. No, that said it's OK. Stays in there. Ball goes to ground. A little hurried kick out wide. Gathered in here, Darwin with it. Out on the boundary line, ball in, or not on the boundary line, but Timothy Eldridge can spear it out wide, put it towards the boundary line. It's a rolling ball. Shillaby are on the chase. Couldn't pick it up. Hotly pursued there by Fred Sleeth. Ball rolls, rolls out of play at the 50-metre line. Nick Timmy Eldridge is one of the keys. He polled very well in the Nichols medal, and not surprisingly, he's been a contributor all year. And early on, he's been matching them on possessions. No doubt about that, as now Miles against Jamar. Jamar hasn't had a spell yet. Be interesting to see how he goes in the conditions. Miles gets a tap behind, but no one's there. Steve Anderson comes through nice and hard as Joe Farrah's there for the district's side. Richard Tamling on the periphery. Zach Stevenson throws himself in, and it'll be a ball up 40 metres out from Buffalo's goal, almost directly in front. As you can see, Tech clapping his hands back there was uh, one of their star players, Southern Districts. And Ed Barlow, it didn't go to him, went to Tambling. Stand and deliver off the left boot. Wants Rory O'Brien parked underneath it. Did it beautifully well. Gee, read that well. He's having a big game in this uh, first quarter. Kicks up to her towards Jetta, who tried to take the marks. Billage land in the hands here of Lionel Ogden. Yeah, Goes to ground ball and all. I think he's going to get a free kick. Oh, and 50 as well, I reckon. Yeah. There is going to be 50 yeah, metres. Yeah, too. Yep. And that was uh, foolish play there, Cameron Stokes. Darwin getting rattled, and they really need to quieten this down, don't they? Yeah, I think in the in the effort to try and for, for uh, Darwin to actually assert some, um, assert some physical pressure, um, they've actually perhaps gone a little bit overboard. I notice a change may well have also come in relation to Will Farrer and Savika. I saw Moroni lined up on him before, so we've seen that might be an important change. In fact, I see Jalen Clark standing now with Will Farrer. But Leroy Jetta, this is well within his range. You would have to back him in, I would think, Charlie. Kicked a goal already. Yep. He's a good footballer, one of those compact footballers, big game player. We're seeing that from him here. If he can kick two in the first quarter, he's going to be pretty valuable. He has a go and he keeps it in as well. It's swung out to the right and it's stayed in between the big post and he comes up with his second goal. What a quarter from uh, Southern Districts here. Only 15 and a bit minutes gone and they kick five. Well, I think what's happening is Darwin are trying to assert themselves physically, but in doing so, they're giving away silly free kicks they don't need to. This man on screen, uh, Rory O'Brien, has been in pretty much everything. You can see it. Moroni there flew with uh, Farah. The free kick, again, Ogden has been one of these players all year for districts that has put his head over the ball. And then that was just silly from Stokes. But equally, uh, Jetta had no right to be there, so Stokes just getting a little bit frustrated. 
No doubt about that. They're just a bit cleaner at the contest as well, aren't they, just fixes is why they're getting the free kicks. Brennan now in the ruck. Light rain. Yep, as the handball's free from the buffs. Kick forward. Joe Anderson's first to the contest. Ed Barlow punches it forward as Savika comes through and kicks out wide to the wing in front of the scoreboard. The race is on. Stokes has a bit of time and space. Looks in board. Touch of class. Does really, really well, but the mark is dropped as Lionel Ogden comes throwing his weight through and Josiah Farrick kicks it on the boot as Savika takes the mark down back for Buffs. He's been moved up the field a bit, Savika. Gone. And caught from behind, penalised. Gee, he's had a bad start tonight. It goes to Rory O'Brien. There's an open goal line. It's dropping back, running with the flight of the ball. Strong mark taken back there in defence by Burrawonga. Kicks it out wide. Was a good kick. Mark dropped along the boundary line as the rain starts to fall. High tackle there. Umpire says play on along the boundary line. Sutton District's in possession. Look at that rain. It is pelting down here. Underneath it and trying, strong, uh, trying to take the mark down there was uh, Will Farrer. And the ball stays in play. There's a chance for a mark. Oh, it is. Uh, courage was called for and, and courage. courage was given. Yeah, that was a great mark. Gee. Now, these conditions, just, uh, just gentlemen, while we go back and, and wait for this, these conditions, do they suit Darwin more or do they suit districts? That's oh, the districts. question. Districts every day. I mean, Curry, Curry is going to line up here and have a shot, but uh, he's only going to be, by the time he kicks, he'd be lucky if he's 20 metres out and no angle really to speak of. So Curry in front. kicks for goal and kicks it. They've got another one. What a quarter of footy. Very good quarter of footy, and it's quite the start that Southern Districts won. 18 minutes, we're still two minutes away from time on. They've opened themselves up to a great lead, five-goal lead. What else can they do? But it's the way they've gone about it, the way they've moved the ball. And their midfielders, people like uh, Rory O'Brien, Dil Barry, uh, Ed Barlow and Jamar, have really set this up. Leroy Jetta has really presented himself as we see the kick in. That's O'Brien again. Yeah. There's that courage. That's terrific, isn't it? It was well read. I think really O'Brien set up nearly all their goals. Yeah, well, we've been well, involved in. He's, he's, he might have to come off with a sore foot at some point at quarter time because he's had a fair few kicks. <coughs> Brennan again in the ruck against O'Sullivan. O'Brien through there again as uh, Bowden gets it on the boot. Out in front of Jakey Rowe Duggan. Jakey Rowe Duggan does well. Barlow provided the Shepherd on his left boot. And Jalen Clark sees it out of bounds. Buffs under siege here in the early or the late stages of the first quarter. 19 minutes gone. Just remind you, it's the NTFL Grand Final. Scheduled to be played a couple of weeks ago and postponed and then postponed again. And we've got it here on a Wednesday night in Darwin. And the rain has come to make it difficult. Here's Barlow. They got a hold of him without the footy. Stephen Anderson. Umpire says it's still OK. Ducking and dodging to get out of trouble there was uh, Roses. Kicks it to the centre of the ground. It's a free bouncing ball. Good mark. Uh, ball taken there by Sam Smith, but he has to hand it over. Darwin win the free kick and go forward. Off the boot of Sam Bozo down inside the forward line. A little push out. Has the whistle gone? No, it rolls towards the boundary line. Gathered in out there by Todd Miles. They get to him, put him under enormous pressure. Plenty of Southern District defenders back there. They win the free kick. Fantastic tackle from Zach Smith. Does well and gives it to his big brother Sam, who's under pressure. Gets the handball away to big Freddie Sleeth. Freddie Sleeth to Lionel Ogden. Does really well to get out of that. Back to Sleeth under pressure, though. Zach Smith, what can he do? He's got to clear the area. He can't. Miles gets the handball over the top for the Buffaloes. As the kick comes forward, it's a flying shot on goal, but it's out of bounds on the full. And Districts will get the ball again. Districts not giving uh, Darwin players any room to move, putting them under pressure. Their second and third efforts really making it difficult. Good chase down here by Miles. Forces the turnover a mistake. Sleeth. He was lucky to get away with that because he just dropped that hot potato. And they win the ball, Darwin. They gave the handball out, put it in the direction of Shillabia, who lost it, and then knocked it along the ground. Gave a chance there to Roses. Snaps at goal, and he's hit the behind post. Uh, it's out of bounds on the full. So Southern District to bring the ball back into play. Yes, you're right. They've got no easy kicks at all out there, the Buffaloes, under enormous pressure. Uh, as I see, Matty Campbell's brought himself into the action as well. Hasn't had a lot of it early. Smoke and Joe Farrah kicks it long and wide on that big left foot of his out to a contest. Good effort as well, but couldn't hold down the mark. Big J Mark, as uh, looked like it was Jalen Clark got the handball free, then jumps in on Big Ed Barlow, but nothing doing. Chris Williams comes out with the ball. Chris Williams, good bit of play. Nice little kick, and he finds Tim Eldridge, who's been lively early for the bus. 
The rain is pouring. It's a long way out, but the goal square is vacant. Getting back there is Joe Farah, and he rushes it through for a behind. He's going to be for the Buffaloes. He's going to be paid the mark. I think the signal was the mark. Yeah, he's going to pay. He's paid the mark there. So he has it now. It between the goalpost and the point post and kicks it outside 50. It's a big kick in the tough conditions. Ball goes to ground. Gathered in there by Matt Campbell. Spears it along the boundary line and finds Adam Sambono. And now that'll warm the hearts of the Darwin supporters when Campbell gets it and delivers a ball like that to Sambono. The, the angle's a tough one though, Ash. Yeah, it is. Uh, but uh, this kid is magical when that ball is in his hand. So don't put it past him, especially in these conditions as he goes the inside out. I think he's missed to the near he side. Has. Comes and up with a minor score. And normally loves those. Like he's just perfected the technique yeah. of banana kicks and snap kicks. Really impressive. Lionel Ogden goes long and wide in the conditions, which is understandable. But no one is there except for Shawnee Armat. Shawnee Armat, 70 metres out. Goes to the hot spot. Gives Anderson a chance. Anderson gets underneath it, brings it to ground. Sammy Smith smashes in. Young Jerry Barawanga had a fly and try to go. Oh, Freddie Sleff tries to bulldoze through a few. The big district's players, Jared Stokes, gets the quick kick away. But again, hits the point post and it's going to be a throw in in Buffalo's forward line. Well, they're peppering away, and <clears throat> although they're not seeing the results of this hard work, what they are doing is locking it in their 50, and they probably had three or four goes of it. Charlie, mm. that, that to me is not a bad sign. If yeah. I was Matty Campbell, you'd be happy with that. They've stemmed the bleeding, haven't they? Yes. Here's Jamar, front position, tap down, gives it to Rory O'Brien, couldn't get clear. Hurried kick comes out, bounces in the direction there of the busy man in Rhino Sullivan. <laughs> Caught with a footy, lost it, left it behind. Hard running out of defence, Dean Staunton gets a push in the back and then hurries the kick up towards the wing. It's a good bouncing ball. He's given his teammate a bit of a chance if he can get to it. Curry. Curry's in second position. He's got two to beat. Cleverly done by Bradley Stokes. Great play Bradley Stokes. Rory O'Brien gets to it. Knocks it in the path there. His player going past in Curry again. Curry off to a teammate. Back into the hands here of Rock here. Outside 50. Kick inside 50 now. Plenty of Sutton District's numbers. Back there. Gets over the back. Ball lands on the ground. Barawanga oh. gets it. Nail. Lost it. Straight into the hands here of Dylan Barry and goes thank you very much they've got another one they have kicked seven who can believe it the last time they played the scores were the exact reverse to that yeah and that was brought about through a crunching tackle by Will Farrell if ever they want the skipper to show and lead by the way this is it good contest here beats one gets it over to team now watch this tackle from Farrah so it goes up, goes underneath it, loose on the ground. Bang! It was, in fact, it wasn't Farrah. Who was it? That was, uh, that Dean, was Dean Staunton. Staunton. Well, Dean Staunton just set that up for Dilberry. And they're skipping away now, the Crocs, that's for sure. j -Mark gets it down. A contest there. Dylan Barry's been good early for districts, but he pulls up lane there. Could have hurt himself. Malcolm Rose has been very good. A talented young player for Buffaloes. Kicks it into the forward line. But a good, strong mark by Zach Smith, who's really tightened the screws on Miles. He read that well, didn't he? There was about five of them with a chance. Little kick was good along the boundary line. So they can just steady this down. Now, 24 minutes gone. What a quarter of footy. Eight goals have been kicked already in a grand final when the rain is uh, pouring. All knocked around. Pat comes over the top and they hold it up. Be some good players out there. Act. Excellent good players. Ed Barlow doing lots of hard work, isn't he? Bit of the grunt work. He is, and, and he's one of many who are prepared to take the ball carry or take the ball with them. As j Mark gets the tap away, bowed in there against Roses. Roses has been very impressive for Buffalo. Oh, comes in late there was Roca. Couldn't get it out. Good tackle from Bowden, and I think we'll have another ball up. No, he's got... First tackle was on the arm over the shoulder. Got Jalen Clark high. Jalen Clark about 70 metres out from Buffalo's goal. They really would love a goal here as he goes long and wide. shillabeer has got a chance. Miles comes running for it. That's a cracking mark. That is a very, very good mark in these conditions. Todd Miles right on the quarter time siren. Wow. If ever there's a shot at goal that you want to convert, I'm sure Matthew Campbell will be trying to encourage everyone to get around him because they really need this goal, the Buffaloes. I mean, they've really worked hard in time on. The last five or six minutes has belonged to them. Even though they haven't... That's a great mark. In these conditions, to have the awareness to be able to maintain it and control it. 
But even though they uh, haven't got the results on the scoreboard in the last five or six minutes, gee, they've done well. Yeah, they've been having shots. Yeah, mm. they've, they've done well to keep it in the 50. And, and as you said, Charlie, to quote you, to stem the bleeding. So he's outside 50. He's got one in the quarter, Todd Miles. His team has won. And he can make it two for him and two for the team. He bangs away. And it's out to the left. He comes up with a minor score. Sad result from a fantastic mark here. But at quarter time, have a look at that score. Southern District, seven goals, two. To Darwin Buffaloes, 1-1 one, one, as they get a little willing out there. It's quarter time here. But the Crocodiles are in front, 7-7-2 seven, seven, to 1-1. One, one. We're here for when the heavens open and the winds howl. We're here for when the water just won't stop. We're here for the wet and we're here for the dry. We're here because we know there's nowhere else you'd rather be. And there's nowhere else we'd rather be either. TIO Home Insurance, we're for Territorians. Time to escape, cause I'm in need of warmer weather. Sail upon the stream to find there's someplace better. And I'm going far and wide. Right Northern Brewing Co., the beer from up here. So we can feel really a feel. So second quarter about to get underway here. The rain has just eased a little bit. It really poured down for a little while, but uh, what a quarter of football from uh, Southern Districts. Amazing quarter of footy. Yeah, they opened up well, and, and it was led by their midfielders and their skipper up forward, who just was on the end of some fantastic delivery. Rory O'Brien, uh, the uh, West Australian player, um, he was fantastic the way he got that ball forward. In fact, I think at one stage he had a hand in most of the goals that they'd set up. Keep in mind, districts have kicked seven. Yeah. Um, and he actually was uh, is the, the reason that they had uh, forward penetrations inside that 50. Also great work, um, I felt, out of Leroy Jetta, who early on was just very difficult to stop. And this man that was on screen then, uh, Todd Miles for Darwin. It's a good physical contest. Joey Anderson probably inject he injected himself in and out, but not enough. Mm. Um, but I think Timmy Eldridge is probably the standout at the moment from, from Darwin's point of view. But gee, they got some work to do, but they got the players to be able to do it. And ironic, the opposite of what we saw in the second semi-final. Yeah. Where Buffaloes were up seven goals to one at, yeah. at quarter time. And then Southern Districts fought back, and I think they lost in the end by 20 points, but they could yeah. never close that gap. Correct. That's, so it's a, a real challenge here for the Buffaloes. Now, though we know that they can kick goals in a hurry, can't they? They can kick three or four in a rush. Well, the, the thing about that time on period, so for about five or six minutes at the end of that first term, they locked the ball inside their forward 50. Their second and third efforts were really harsh, hard, but they couldn't get a score on the board. They had three or four shots in a row. They either went out of bounds on the full, they hit the post and were thrown in or they went through for a point. In fact, at the end there, Miles has taken a great mark juggling. He's gone back and kicked a point. You know, it would have been the scoreboard, admittedly might have been 2-1, but it could equally have easily have been 4 or 5. Mm. So if you have a look at that, uh, what an incredible uh, wrap of players there, group of players there. As Ed Barlow, uh, Ed Barlow looks like he's going to change jumpers from number 20 to 36. So if you're watching at home, just keep in mind Barlow will be in number 36 now. Uh, it'll be the cleanest jumper out there. But but a few yeah. of the a few of the Southern Districts players haven't yet injected themselves into the game. No, that's People right. like Richard Tambling yep. and Jared Brennan really haven't been involved just yet. The two Smith brothers, Zach and Sam, up back, are doing admirable jobs against their uh, opponents. I think it's uh, young Sam that's had to stand 
Miles. No, no Zach Zach had to stand Miles. Yep. And he actually improved as the quarter got on. But um, those two boys may stand up here and, and be important in terms of the second Ashton, second half doesn't Farrah look dangerous? Absolutely dangerous. They can get high ball to him. Yeah, and, and of course, he's got such a great vertical leap, good set of hands, and is a very good kicker goal. As we, we get underway here for the second quarter of the grand final. Big j -Mar, he's dominated these ruck contests and he wins again as uh, Jakey Rogue Duggan. No, it's not. It's Ed Barlow receives the free kick. Gets the ball moving as quick as he can. It's a short pass into Jakey Rogue Duggan who couldn't hold the mark. Good pick up by Matty Campbell, but Richard Tambling's got him. Tambling fights in again as uh, young Chris Williams jumps in over top and it'll be a ball up. 70 metres from Southern District's goal. Well, Matty Campbell out on the field is going to is going to offer them a set of leadership in that midfield. They're perhaps missing a little bit. Jamar with a little tap down. Barlow, a bit of a chance left it for his teammate to go in and get it. Staunton, kick to the middle of the ground. Vacant centre circle down there. Darwin will get their first ball left behind. Now they can get it. Cam Stokes, handball around the corner was OK. Got it to Sullivan. O'Sullivan's kick inside 50, lands on the ground down in the danger area, picked up by Southern Districts under real pressure was Fred Sleeth. He's going to be pinged. Yeah. He couldn't get rid of it. Free kick's going to go to Jalen Clark, and he's within kicking distance. Is this the start of the journey back for the double blues? They'll hope so. Well, this is a great tackle by Clark. It's a very clever move by Campbell because basically Clark's a defender, so he's decided if if the ball is going to stay up there, I want someone locking it in as Clark comes in directly Jaylen, in front. Jalen Clark from directly in front goes back and slots the goal, and maybe they've started the long journey back. Well, you would think so, and, and what's interesting is uh, we haven't really had much of a chat about Chilabir yet, and... Uh, uh, we haven't seen much. No, but, no, we haven't. But there's Campbell, which I talked about. It forces the turnover, them, and then the kick smothered off the boot, and it's loose on the ground. And then watch Cam Stokes. Great pick up, quick hands. O'Sullivan, just get it downfield. Yeah, I mean it's got to be their game plan. They've got some fantastic tall forwards, and let's not forget Sam Bono as well, Clark. who doesn't mind running and jumping at the ball. But that is a, a very good tackle from Jalen Clark, and a good finish as well for him. Just as Zach Smith got it, and he's about to. Running out of defence. Jamar again hangs there and taps it down, but straight into the path of Stokes. Jared Stokes, Stokes drives it within 50. Big fist from the back defensive. Knocked it away from Sam Bono. Ball left on the ground here. Sam Bono went looking for it, didn't get it. Handball comes over the top. Sam Bono's got it now. Onto the left boot along the boundary line. Right to the goal line. Knocked to the goal square. Oh, they tried to kick it off the ground there. That was Shillabier. He didn't. It spills out wide. Ball gathered in here by Williams. It's left at the 50 metre line. Hurry kick comes out of the boot of Bowden. Whistle's and gone. Free kick. Darwin free kick. Well, I want to see what this is for, but um, I suspect if it's not high, then what's happened is Sleeth actually has gone past the ball to take, yeah, and he, he has. has. Yeah. So he's run past the football and he's taken out Clark. So. No ice for the ball, player only. Well, I can tell you something. They kick a goal here. Sleeth has given them both away. He has. Yeah. One when he was caught in the tackle and one now with that uh, actually, undisciplined tackle. No, but Charlie, I felt, I felt in that first quarter, Sleeth got away a couple of times in the in that uh, defensive area where he probably could have been pinged, but he got away with it. He hasn't been so lucky. Jalen Clark now again. Kicks for goal from directly out in front. Results the same. He's kicked two in a row, and uh, they're starting to look like the Darwin that we saw a couple of weeks ago. Weedy Hayes out there. Good to see him as one of the runners. <laughs> what a great player he was for the Darwin Buffaloes he all those years ago. a long, ago. long time. Well, and we're also seeing uh, some of the players that, not, when I say not missing, I don't want to be that harsh, but that really were well held in that first quarter. Got a little bit overrun with the moment. People like Jared Stokes, quick hands come through there. Yeah, so Sleece just hasn't bothered with that, and he's... Paid the price for his good free kick by the umpire who was joining the squad. Yeah, not often you'd think that Jalen Clark would kick two for you in uh, in three minutes, but that's exactly what he's done. As Matty Campbell, another centre clearance for the Buffaloes. Gives his forward a chance, and Sambono's taken a mark. Sambono's taken a mark. All of a sudden, if he kicks this, it is, it is well and truly game on. Game on again. And just starting to get on top through the midfield are the Darwin Buffaloes. Well, they've won every centre clearance so far. So. Four minutes and they've kicked a couple. Sam Bono, he is so damaging. He's a lefty. He bangs it. He bangs long. He bangs magnificently. That is a great kick. It's a goal. Wow, here they come, the Buffaloes. We, 
Anything can happen. <laughs> yeah. Anything can happen. It certainly well, can. <laughs> when, you've, uh, when you've had the grand final pushed off a couple of weeks, anything can happen. And out of the middle, and there's Campbell again. Captain coach. Sorry, the coach. Sam Bono. Well read in the air, too. What a very good opponent, too, yeah. in Sammy Smith. And what about the kick? Yeah. Beautiful finish. But I wonder if that little scrimmage at the end of the first quarter might have got the buffs back into the yeah, game. Their heads sort of right. Up. Yep. And districts have gone the other way. So the... Ja Jamar wins this little tap down. They'll run hard onto it here. Josiah Farrah caught in the tackle and lost it. Spillage comes out. And Darwin with the handball over the top can run forward. Jared Stokes takes a bounce. He's out on the wing, spears it inside 50 to the danger area. It's a good kick. They're all at the back. There's plenty of them back there. The handball to Sambona. Nailed in the tackle. Goes to ground. Ball spills out of play. Oh, gee, the pressure was on then for the team from Southern yeah, District. I can tell I you that. tell you what, that could have nearly been in the back too against Lionel Ogden. Here we go. Quick hands out. Just the slightest fumble. Yeah. He needed a saddle on him, didn't he? As the ball comes in, Jamar. Big punch forward. Jakey Road Duggan down there for Districts. Districts have the numbers if they can get it. Young Chris Williams has been very good for buffs. Gets it out. The quick kick there by Leslie Moroni. As Michael Bowden gets the handball out to Zach Smith. Zach Smith just tries to get it on the boot. They're under siege now, the Districts defenders, as Timmy Brook moves it forward to a one-on-one. -on -one. At the back there is, is Willie Farrah, the captain, gets crunched by Anderson, who in turn gets crunched by Smoke and Joe Farrah. And there's a little bit of push and shove, a little bit of heat come into this match all of a sudden. Anderson the free kick, I reckon. Yeah. Willie Farrah's not How happy in his Anderson, play on. Way. And off he goes, Anderson. Thumps it out wide. Free kick downfield, because he got taken out there by Farrah after disposal. And so this is the other Anderson, Stephen Anderson, outside 50, and he's going to set it up pretty high. He wants Shillabier underneath it. Jalen Clark, Clark with the handball. Little kick inside 50, player loose down there. As Jared Stokes goes back, lines up, kicks for goal. Thank you very much. Darwin on fire. Oh, Jared Stokes kicks the goal. <laughs> this is unbelievable. And can I say, Stokes, he doesn't miss him from there, and that's a great, great goal. Great captain's goal. So just uh, Anderson just got dealt with, look, perhaps not much, but he had a look. He was in the air and got a push in the back. Stephen Anderson very quickly didn't wait around, just wanted to get it inside that 50. Play on at all costs. Miles has almost come up with another one. Clark, uh, Jalen Clark, clever hands. Then the centering kick was from Eldridge. That no, was Roses, oh, Malcolm it was Roses. Roses. Beautiful and there's Stokes, and look at that. He's happy. Wow. Well, wow, we've had, wow, we've had wow. cyclones, postponed games, rain. And seven goals one way and uh, seven goals the next. <laughs> As districts, can they respond here, districts? They are absolutely under siege here from the Buffaloes. As a good effort from Leslie Moroni gets the ball out long and wide. Shillabier now in front of Freddie Sleaf. Sleaf does well to keep his feet. Good work, big fella. As uh, he comes in and then burrows over young Malcolm Roses. They're really throwing themselves in now. Steve Anderson gets the handball out. Schillerbier, he is a monstrous kick. Outside 50, goes to the hot spot. It's a two on one. But Jalen Clark for his third for the corner and he's kicked it. The Rolls Royce at the back of the pack. <laughs> he's played back line all year. All year he's played in centre half back for Buffaloes. They've thrown him forward and he has delivered in spades. They're happy up there in the stands. Oh, Look at the that. Buffalo supporters are stampeding. Well, I wonder uh, when we get down to it. Anderson with great composure to Shillabier. Wasn't that a great handball? It was beautiful handball. And Shillabier just got out the back. And if, it, if you're in doubt, stick it to the top of the square, which is exactly what happened. Jalen Clark, Johnny on the spot. Yep. And you can see there, there's a bit of a smirk from Simon Walker, the umpire, and I'm thinking he's going, Jalen Clark just kicks three goals. And I've only ever seen him in the back line. Five goals in eight minutes. That is extraordinary. We said before they're capable of doing that, and they've just done it. Maybe they heard us. We shouldn't have said it. Southern District players will say, ball on the ground, up for grabs here. Rory O'Brien has just gone out of the play a bit. Needs a footy, putting pressure there on Anderson. Darwin emerged with the footy. Kicked down towards the half-forward line. Bouncing ball, Stephen Anderson out wide. Schillerbeer gets it. Gives it to Stephen Anderson. On the outside of the rope. Ball right boot goes for goal. Right across the face of goals. And out of play.
And all of a sudden, the Crocs are second-guessing themselves. Well, the intensity has lifted. Districts haven't gone with them, but Darwin have done this to sides all year where they've put them under enormous physical pressure. We saw it at the end of the first quarter. They've done it since the start of the, this quarter, so we're approaching 10 minutes. Great start. With 10 metres out from the Buffalo's goal, Lionel Ogden overran the football. Shillabier now in the race. He's got five metres on Fred Sleeth. What's he got to do? He turns him inside out, but a good tackle by Fred Sleeth. Just to slow the play up here. The Crocs now. Got a little bit of time. As we see, big Fred Sleeth. Yeah. That's a good tackle in the end on the man of the moment, Shillabier. As Zach Smith gets a handball into Lionel Ogden. Goes for a bit of a run and goes long out to the wing. Out in front of Leroy Jetta. He uses his body really, really well. He's got the run of play. Little left foot kick. Heads up forward to Curry. Curry couldn't win the football. He can now. Good pick up. Back to Leroy Jetta. Looking for Curry again. Gets it on to Dylan Barry. It's on his left foot. If he can pick it up, he can't. And he's tackled by Zach Stevenson. And the ball trickles over the boundary line. Once again, what we're seeing is good defensive pressure from Darwin there. Not letting the Crocodiles players get away with anything easy. And Jetta, Jetta, was, Jetta could do no wrong in that first quarter. But just then, they kept him well and truly under wraps. And good news, the rain has gone away. Little kick out there to the centre of the ground. Southern Districts can have it. They spear it back inside 50. That's a good-looking kick for Farrell off his hands. Lands at the back. Rory O'Brien goes around the corner with a handball. Wants to get it to Brennan. Brennan along the boundary line. Misses everything and kicks it out of bounds on the full. He just had a lot more time there, Jared Brennan, than what he probably realised. He'd like to have that back again. See Rory O'Brien, handball to space. Possibly could have been in the back. Young yeah. Jerry Burrowunga kicks long and wide. Savika's there, couldn't take the mark. O'Brien fights with him at ground level. Good contest there. Anderson does really, really well for the Buffaloes. And Ed Barlow holds his ground and gets smothered by Anderson. Anderson's been bringing himself into the game. Timmy Eldridge is collected front on. McLaughlin gets the handball up to Ed Barlow. Beautiful little kick to O'Brien. O'Brien, they must score from here. He's got Dylan Barry on and hits him on the chest. Beautiful bit of play from Rory O'Brien. Well, a bit of a bounce of the ball there. And uh, Districts were the beneficiary of it, really. Ball could have easily have just gone out just then. Mr. Barry set himself up in the middle there and his teammates were aware that he was there. He's had a, had a fantastic year. He actually kicked five in the grand final down in the Caffle this year. Oh, it's come up with a poster. Well, it's the little things like that, perhaps inside your head. But, I mean, at the end of the day, it, the distance was one of those troublesome distances, wasn't it? Bit of an angle. I think Darwin did that in the first quarter as well, didn't they? Hit the post when they had a chance. Ball towards the boundary line uh, and out of play. Atkinson chases it out there. Do a little bit of the ruck work today, be Chris Atkinson. Yeah, wow, what a comeback, though. Look at that score. Just the goal, the difference. Throw in outside 50. Front position tap down. Little hurried kick from outside defensive 50 to the vacant wing. Sleeth, front position again, he charges in. He's done that a couple of times, Sleeth. It's part of his play. He needs to be careful with it, I think, not having eyes on the footy. Handball comes out towards Sam Bono. Hurry kick up towards the wing. And running back, taking a strong mark back there, Sam Smith. Sam Smith moves the ball on quickly along the wing as Richard Tambling. Ball got touched by camera, uh, Jared Stokes. Adam Sam Bono gets the handball over the top to Stokes again. Stokes goes short. He's got Cameron Stokes there. Good bit of play from Roker, and the ball goes out of bounds. And it's just mellowed a little bit, the game, hasn't it? Just yeah. slowed a little bit in intensity. A bit of the heat, a bit of the heat's come out of it from early on when uh, Darwin were just out of the blocks. And it's good to see there that Stokes, clever, used his body, played for the boundary line. So throw in here, front position, tap down. Cleverly by J Mark, worked so hard today. And then the hurried kick, Roker, it was. Puts it in the direction there of his teammate to go forward, Dylan Barry. Thumping kick down towards 50. Bouncing ball to get to the back. No cut off there by Bradley Stokes and then goes out of play. What we're seeing, Charlie, just in that last few minutes is we're seeing how the Darwin defenders have started to get in front and play in front. Mm -hmm. Whereas perhaps they were not prepared to back themselves so heavily in that first quarter. They are now. Mike Simpson there throwing the ball in. 26th grand final as a boundary <laughs> Out of 27, umpire. Charlie. 26 out of 27. 
as Matty Campbell lets it go through. Dylan Barry getting busy. Ed Barlow got a little bit of time and space. Got a one-on-one -on -one up forward. It's not a great kick. Moroni dropped what he should have taken and rushes it through for a behind. Gee, it wasn't the best kick for Farrow. They didn't give him a chance, really, did it? I think he was going for goal, to be honest with you, Charlie. I really do. Sort of hedged his bets a little bit. Yeah. So Maloney's kick out is good to the coach. And uh, he'll go forward here. Matt Campbell uses the handball, the former North Melbourne player. Great player in the AFL. Got control of the footy now in the hands of Jared Stokes from defensive 50. These youngsters are pretty good for the Darwin Buffaloes. They certainly are. He's one of the pick of them. Roses on the left foot. He's lightning quick when he gets it. Freddie Sleeth at the back of the pack. Gets it to Sammy Smith who runs into trouble. And that will be holding the ball. Shillabier. Shillabier from 45 metres. He's kicked a lot of these this year. He's just hooked it and threw for a minor score for the Darwin Buffaloes. Well, I'll tell you what. If Shillabier gets his uh, accuracy his on, radar on his radar on... Good, good defensive efforts here. Great work, Sam Bono. Clever to play on too, Steve. So, goal the difference. No, it's been so, touched. So, Anderson's going to get the ball. Anderson's going to bring the ball back. So, he's outside 50. He wants to play on. <laughs> and he's been one of the sparks for Buffalo's. No he doubt. has. He has. And uh, he was not far from coming into the game early on. And he did. He has in this quarter. He's gone for the old... Torp, he's put it up very, very high. He wants the mark taken. No one able to take it there. There's a chance for O'Sullivan. Tambling with the handball out. They can run from defence now with Lionel Ogden. He's a pacey and very talented defender. Kicks to the wing. Savika got there with a punch, knocked it towards the boundary line. Stays in the field of play, though. Southern District's going to get there first. Rory O'Brien with a little kick off the ground. Waiting back there for it, though, was uh, Kevin Maroney, former Wanderers player, kicked towards the wing, running with the flight of the ball. Sutton District's not able to take the mark. Parked underneath it might have been Ogden. And the two number nines working for his mark. Uh, uh, Rose is there and uh, Staunton. And now the kick forward by Savika. And Turned it was... straight over. <laughs> the mark taken by Brennan just set him up, self up really well behind the footy. Ed Barlow's had a lot of the footy. Looks forward. It's got well covered. Willie Farrah's uh, Moroni spoils it. Good effort from Willie Farrah. Great recovery, but he's kicked it through for a behind for the Crocs. Give him out to a seven-point lead. A quick bit of play under pressure is Jared Stokes, but he does really, really well. Touch of class on his opposite foot. Gets it out to Joe Anderson and marks in front of Ed Barlow. Barlow wearing the number 36. Pulling the hands here of Jed Anderson. First... Eight minutes of the grand final were just superb from him. Now he goes to the searching kick. It's a good one there. It's intended for a teammate, but just knocked away by a defending player for Southern Districts who got there. As we see, the crowd really starting to fill up now. A bit of excitement around after the Crocs got such a jump at the start. See, not as many numbers around the ball as what we're used to seeing in the finals. It's pretty open. Jamar tries to punch it forward. Jared Stokes there. He's got a little bit of time and space. This is what we're talking about. Not much congestion around the stoppages as Sam Bono gets free. I'm not sure where his man was. He can't give this guy too much time and space. Shillabier drops what he would normally take. Fred Sleeth behind him. In comes Sam Smith. Couldn't pick it up. O'Sullivan throws it on the boot and a good spoil from Michael Bowden down in the last line of defence for Southern District. Sees a throw in 20 metres out from Buffalo's goal. Well, you can't really afford to give Adam Sambono any space at all because if the pass is even half on, which it was, then he's going to take it. They probably were unlucky then, Darwin. They couldn't get away with it. If it wasn't for that drop mark, they'd probably be right back in it. It's just slippery conditions, but Shillabia presented himself, and they were right in that then. And the man of the moment, uh, Jalen Clark down the front of that throw-in. j -Mar get the taps. Pretty good. Joe Anderson gets to the footy. He's at it, goes to ground with it in his hand. He might be in trouble here. He's actually being done, I think, for contact below the knees. Yeah, he went, he, no doubt. he dived, and then took the took the legs out of O'Brien. So the little chip kick comes out. OK, too, into the hands of Barlow. Gee, what a game he's had. Ed Barlow, whether he's wearing 20 or 36, doesn't matter. Kicks it up towards <laughs> the wing. It's a good kick. Savika with the reach at the back. Got his hands on the footy. Might have... Uh -huh. was a hold. Wow. He was held out. So yeah. Savika wins the free kick. Savika now got a couple of options short. He goes... 
wide, looking for O'Sullivan. He's a good player, O'Sullivan, but he couldn't mark, and O'Brien did a pretty good job in the end to force that out of bounds. Well, the Ruckman and the um, the Ruckman and the Rover, so to speak, if they still have those positions these days. Yeah, you can see Jared Brennan's got a big yeah, clutch good of call the yeah. a very good, good free kick. Good awareness and good vision. Yeah, didn't look like one from where we were sitting, but no, no. Umpo was in a great spot. The benefit of the replay is good for us. There's a thumping smash by. Jamar, it went into the hands of Savika, but a free kick's been picked out of it. It's going to go to uh, Rhino Sullivan. It's a big, yep, He's big pushed push him out, yeah. yeah. Gee, they're starting to give free kicks away, aren't they? Sudden District's big tackle on Shillaby. He leaves the footy behind. Into the hands here. Snapshot, Cammy Stokes. Bangs for goal. Looks OK. He's got it. Hey, Cammy Stokes will take that any day of the week. It's a one-point ball game. He Can doesn't get that? to kick. He doesn't get to kick too many, Cameron Stokes, but he'll be lapping it up in a grand final and he'll be replaying that part over and over again. Tremendous, tremendous awareness. And O'Sullivan, all he did, O'Sullivan, was take front position in that run, ruck contest. There's Shillabier. And he might have got caught down, but he, he forced it out. It came out, Miles, and then there's Stokes. And the other thing that Shillaby is doing, as well as Miles, is they're drawing two players towards yeah. him. You need two defenders to tackle him, which leaves one free. And the ball comes to ground, and the, the uh, Mosquito Brigade of uh, the Darwin Buffaloes are right there. And gee, tense times in the uh, district's coach's box now as J-Mark gets it out. Brook had the run of the ball. McLaughlin got the handball to Dean Staunton. Dean Staunton inside the forward 50. Good effort there from the Buffs defenders as uh, Jerry Barawanga drags it in. He was probably lucky there. Joe Anderson, O'Brien under him. That's dropping the ball surely. And Jenna plays on and kicks a really quick goal there for Southern Districts just to relieve the pressure. But a great tackle from O'Brien who's been really important for the Southern District side so far this evening. Anderson just trying to do too much there, Charlie. Yeah. He, he, Joe he, Anderson. Yeah, he just he got away with it, Joe. And uh, again, we see some good pressure. It was a quick kick out of the middle, which they haven't been able to do much in this quarter. And he's done well here. Unlucky not to hold it. They've done everything right. You can just see it's a great tackle here. O'Brien watches the hips. Yeah. And then Leroy Jetta gets his third with a grubber. So he equals Jalen Clark. He's kicked three goals. So almost uh, half time here. Tap out of the middle. Rory O'Brien with a handball around the corner. That might have been intended for Jamar. That's a high tackle. And I think the umpire's going to have to pay a free kick. Yep. And uh, Bronx cheers, I think, from the district supporters. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just interesting. It has been a case of the team that's uh, been first in at the footy has been winning the free kick. So the uh, kick is going to be inside 50. Joe Clark, go, uh, Anderson goes looking for it, but it comes out off the boot of Rhino Sullivan. Big kick to the centre of the ground. Hard tackle on there. And the ball held up. Uh, Umpire says holding the ball. And there's been a big gun on behind play as well. As Blake Piggott has given uh, Timmy Eldridge... Jalen Clark, the man of the moment, is he's not going to kick four for the quarter. Don't tell us. It's nice and high, and top of the square. <laughs> <laughs> he had a good hard look at it from where he was. And can I say to you, none of his teammates would have heard the end of it if he had to kick that. Great tackle there from Cammy Stokes. So the game is that, seven goals to one and then seven goals to one. That's what it is, isn't it? Which finishes up with uh, both teams on... Seven goals of the L. Southern Districts have eight, don't they? Oh, a bit of uh, head clash there. And Sleeth trying to get it out. Gets to Sam Bono. Gets onto the left boot. Bangs away with the left boot. And hits the post. Wow. What a game. This is fantastic football. This is, uh, this is the most entertaining grand final I've watched for a long time. As Districts bring it back in. They go short. Zach Smith drops a mark. Eldridge on, is on him and lets him know all about it. And Shillabier comes over mm -hmm. and lets him know as well. Yeah, free kick, he's earned one. And that's silly. That should be now reversed. Gonna be reversed. No, it's, and it's, no, no, he's going to... I don't think he's going to reverse it. No, Shillabier's Sh just gone in there to help his... Yeah, he has reversed, he has reversed it. Well, yeah. that's, he, had to, he had to reverse yeah, that. Yeah, he did, but it was silly. And uh, it's a shame, really, because Eldridge had done all the work there. 
It's gone back to Smith as a reverse. and That should be a 50 anyway, shouldn't it? Uh, I wouldn't have thought so, Charlie. I mean, it's um, just slipped out of his hands. So he hasn't had to do this, but then Schillerbeer has done this to Smith. We didn't see the end of it, but that's OK. No. Bowden in possession. Michael Bowden runs out of defence, and the kick is a good one. Keeps it low, Mark taken there by Pickett. Uses the handball. They've got players in the middle if they can use it. Little kick forward there by Bowden. Siren brings it to a close. What a half of footy, Ash Banakaris. What a half. What a tremendous, what a tremendous game we've got so far in our hands here in the grand final. Districts out of the gates at seven goals early on in that uh, in that first quarter, and the Buffs have bounced back. And in that first 10 or 15 minutes of that quarter, they were unstoppable. They kicked six straight, got themselves back in. Jalen Clark was the man of the moment. He kicked three, moved up forward by Matthew Campbell. We have got a real line ball game here, Charlie. Half time at the TIO Stadium in Darwin in the grand final, and Southern Districts lead by a goal, hanging on to lead by a goal. Eight four, they lead the Buffalo seven four. So the first half was uh, was very good. You know, we we spoke about um, certain changes from the game that we lost, and we changed our matchups up forward quite considerably. Um, no one would have expected Sam Smith to go to uh, Adam Sambono, who kicked five. The, you know, in the game we played prior, and then I moved, moved young Zach Smith, who was very undersized, to Todd Miles, who you know was probably the key forward and the key big man on the ground in the NTFL at that stage, and you know paid dividends for us, and we had to try and keep Shillabier under control. Also, because they had tall timber, and we got off to a start that we wanted to start fast, and you know we end up reversing the roles, and we put seven goals on the board. And I remember the quarter time message. We had a bit of a scuffle, and I said, if you give Darwin Buffaloes a chance and you let the crowd get involved, they'll come back at you. And we gave them that opportunity, and uh, you know we remonstrated with them, and we lost our focus. And credit to them, they came back and made a real good game of the grand final, and you know squared the game up at half time. We're here for when the heavens open and the winds howl. We're here for when the water just won't stop. We're here for the wet and we're here for the dry. We're here because we know there's nowhere else you'd rather be. And there's nowhere else we'd rather be either. TIO Home Insurance. We're for Territorians. Time to escape, cause I'm in need of warmer weather. Sail upon the stream to find there's someplace better. And I'm going far and wide. Ooh. Right Northern Brewing Co., the beer from up here. So we can feel for Elliot. As the ball goes up, O'Sullivan gets it out to Stokes. He's been good with his foot skills tonight. Good effort there from the district suspender. Couldn't get it. Zach Smith first back, but he's wrapped up by Miles. And the ball will be balled up by the umpire. Interesting decision to start Stokes at full forward there, but they've won it straight out of the middle, which is a very good sign. So umpire throws it up. It was tapped down. Southern District's trying to get clear. In his hand there, Zach Smith. Now it spills out in the direction there of Barlow. Didn't get it. Hard running there by Roses. Did pretty well. Hurried kick comes forward. Bowden's worked hard tonight out towards the wing. Savika got his hand on it. Tapped it back behind him. Did it cleverly. And Barlow gets there and comes off his boot and rolls out of play. So just... Uh, we're gonna, I think we're going to have a few minutes of just feeling each other out here yeah. and then uh, we're going to see the onslaught. Well, the third quarter, as they say, is the Premier's quarter. Interesting arm wrestle will, will unfold as this game gets further into it. Well, the risk is you don't take a risk, I reckon. Mm. 
Couldn't agree more as the ball comes in. Ryan O'Sullivan's been fantastic against Jamar. Jamar wins the tap. Richard Tambling breaks away and kicks a long up and under kick. Jerry Burrowunga at the back. Jakey Rowe Duggan keeps his feet, but the boy from Gove does really, really well. Leroy Jetta goes to ground as through comes Maroney, but Josiah Farrah gets it out. Jetta to Dean Staunton. Busts through three, but gets done for dropping the football. And it will end up with Bradley Stokes, I think. Yes. So Bradley Stokes from inside defensive 50, thumps it out towards the wing. Good kick knocked away there from Roses. Gave him a chance, though. Chasing Dean Staunton along the boundary line. Roses wins it. Comes back with a handball. Did it pretty well. Little kick in field. Reading it very best was uh, that man uh, Barlow. has been terrific. He didn't get it, though. Goes to Cam Stokes. Got it. Lost it. Handball's terrific. Shillabia puts it inside 50. Here's a shot for the Buffaloes from right on the 50-metre line. Getting underneath. And oh, almost took the mark down there was Todd Miles. Darwin get the kick out, bounces towards the forward pocket. Stephen Anderson ran hard, couldn't get it. Brooks emerges with the footy, pumps it along the boundary line, gets it out towards Barlow. Barlow over the top. They've got players everywhere here. They are three on one. Dan Stokes beat them all. Tapped it beautifully, though. Gathered in this time, Bowden. Got it up towards half forward. Sam Bono gets it. Sam Bono clever. Barlow over the top of the footy. They put him to ground. Plenty of Darwin footballers there. It's Cam Stokes, pumps it down towards the forward line. Sleep he dropped the mark that he should have got. Hard work running at the footy there was O'Sullivan. Couldn't get clear. Now the chance here by Jalen Clark. Goes for goal and misses and kicks it out of bounds. My goodness, what about that play? Well, I just think that Jalen Clark's been told by Matt Campbell to set himself up in front of either Miles or Shillabier, depending on who's going for the football. Because every time the ball goes to ground, Clark's right there. He is as Brooke brings it back in. Long down the line. Jamar sets himself but can't hold the mark. Ed Barlow has been around the footy all night. Love this young fella's game. Mal Malcolm Roses gets the kick. shillabier has got the run of play now. Good tailing by him from Dean Staunton. Gets the kick to Kevin Maroney. Kevin Maroney just sets it up. Big contest here. Sammy Smith set himself really, really well and then possibly could have got a free kick without it as Smoke and Joe Farrah comes bullocking through. He can't get the ball cleanly. Jakey Road Duggan comes out, but Timmy Aldridge has got him. Brooke on that left foot gets the kick away. It's a two-on-one. Roker does really, really well and kicks the ball off the ground. Out of danger for a little bit by the Crocs. Kevin Maroney wins the race back, gets the handball up. Zachy Stevenson dropped what he should have taken, but Maroney kicks long down the line and a good intercepting effort from Michael Bowden, and he'll win a free kick for oh, the Crocs. What a play. I'll good. tell you what, whoever wins this game is going to know they've won it. Yeah, good courage there from both players. Both had eyes on the ball. They're playing for their lives here. Bowden with the footy. He caught the real heavy hit. He's going to bang it with the left boot. He's not going to get it past Maroney. The spillage, though, lands in the hands here of Southern Districts, who can pump it forward. That's Jake Rowe Duggan down towards a half-forward line. Little knockout towards Savika. They got him gone. Big tackle advantage played. Kick down towards the goal line. Southern Districts coming from everywhere. They try to tap it across to Farrah. They can't. Running back and cleaning up was Matt Campbell. Pushes it over the boundary line deliberately. as a corner. Wow. It is delivered. And Will Farrah. Wow. The captain. Well, he's sick. Yeah, Let's have a look. Just, he, just sat he, off him. he just sat off him, though, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. He just thought he might be a chance, and he chips it over to Ed Barlow. Ed Barlow's been everywhere tonight. Geez, he's been a consistent performer for Southern Districts all season and again tonight. He has, and he's played at both ends of the field, and he's really has given him, he's given his teammates something to uh, work with. And he's presented himself wherever he is, and uh, now he's going to get a reward for it, you would think. Comes in directly in front, only 10 or 15 metres out, and he steers it through to give the Crocs a little bit of breathing space, and they shoot out to a 12-point lead at the start of the third quarter. Now, I didn't ask you your better players in that second quarter. That was... Uh... We go back to that for a minute. Who are your better players in there? Oh, Jared Stokes, I yep. thought, sort of set the tone for the buffs as we see a good tackle from uh, Leroy Jetta. Uh, Mal young Malcolm Roses, I really like him. Cameron Stokes, I thought, was really good as well. Matty Campbell did good in patches, but uh, no, I thought Jared Stokes was the man that lit it up for buffs. Anyone for districts, you thought? 
Well, the, their, their contributors continued on. O'Brien continued to be a, a, a good player for them, and as did Ed Barlow as well, and Jamar actually. Dylan Barry. Yeah, as well. Dylan Barry was another one, and, and Jamar in the ruck, and he's won out that one as well. So that's the Campbell handball was pretty good. That man you mentioned, Jared Stokes, emerges with the footy, spears it into the forward pocket, diving for the footy, not able to take the mark. Todd Miles. Cam Stokes looking for it, can't get it stolen at the back, left behind Stephen Anderson, a little bit of a chance here. Handball under pressure, back towards Bowden. Can he get to it? No, he couldn't. It knocks it to the ground. Here's Jalen Clark with a snapshot. Jalen Clark snaps it. Goal misses off to the left. Comes up with a minor score. Two chances for Jalen Clark. Yeah, that's, and that's, yeah. that's a guy that we forgot. He was the one that actually kicked the three goals. You've got to give him quarter. something, don't you, for the quarter? Yeah, and, and he was actually instrumental in that second-term comeback. And again, he's presenting himself again, just front and centre. As, uh, as has been nearly the case with every kick in, long and wide as Shillabeer is first to the contest. Gets his kick away. It's a scrambly one and Stokes takes the mark. 15 metres out for the Buffaloes. Telling Mark. Deserves it. He works so hard, this guy. He's a touch of class. He's a really, really good player at this level of footy is Jared Stokes. Well, the big thing with Darwin is when Jared Stokes is playing well, Darwin is generally playing well as well. And uh, he started it out at, uh, in, that, uh, in that second term, bounced out of the middle. He's done it again once or twice already in this quarter. So we'll see what he can do from here. But it's well within his range, well within his accuracy. And he goes back and slots it straight through. And it's game on again. Back to a five-point ball game as the joint captain of Buffalo's runs from the field to have a well-earned break. As we see here. Solomon just punched it away. And a bit of, in, bit of indecision there, but picked up by Sheila Beer in a hurried kick, and it was Stokes who measured it best. They had the numbers there, Districts, but they just simply didn't man up on him, did they? No. Someone should have gone to him. No, someone should have, but they weren't expecting that kick. It was a, kind of a miss kick from Shillabier, really. It was a kick in hope, but always, they got away with it. Always prepare for the miss kick, I reckon, down that forward line. Here's the kick, comes out of the middle. Sutton Districts high up and under to the true centre-half forward position. Jared Brennan, who's been very quiet, got his hands on it. Couldn't complete the mark, though. Farrah looking for it, just couldn't get it. Brennan this time gets it in that uh, classical style of his one step and then drops it on the boot. Ball forced towards the boundary line. High tackle has gone over the top. I reckon Rose is going to get a free kick. It's, he's going to play on. It's Bradley Stokes, in fact. Drives it up towards the wing. Little push out from the back. Jamar has given up the free kick. He has to the danger man, Shillabier. Got uh, 16 league votes from eight games. Darren Chilabir has been a tower of excellence for Buffalo as he goes long down the line. Districts have got the numbers. Done well there. Good handball. Brook gets it up, but he's given it up to Clark. Follows up with some good work. Just keeps his feet at the contest. And Cameron Stokes comes charging through and hits the ball out of the line, over the line. As Jalen Clark comes in to let Timmy Brook know that he should have done a little bit better on that occasion. These yeah. Darwin players, a bit like those green ants, are just everywhere. <laughs> they're amazing. So the ball comes out here now, and uh, hard running there by Timothy Eldridge, didn't get the footy, and the kick thrown by Philpot, but the free kick's gone. Southern Districts can run from defence. Lionel Ogden wants to take off the nose, says the umpire, bring it back. That's going to go to a man who's been very quiet today, Charlie McAdam. Haven't called him much today. Onto the left boot he goes. Famous name, of course. Punched down towards J. Martin. Nailed. Went to ground. Darwin can win the footy. Handball out here. Cam Stokes got it across. The little kick forward inside 50. Southern District's under enormous pressure. Sam Bono came in there. He couldn't get it. He wants it to come out to him. It's not going to come out. In goes Barlow looking for it. Barlow trying so very it's hard. To Anderson down there as well, throwing his hands around. Might have hit Jamar in the face, but I think he's drawn a free kick. Yeah, he got a bit of a nudge in the back there as he went to ground. I've got to say to you, one of the things that uh, he's concerning a little bit is we just watched this replay here, and he just, Jamar just came in and gave him a nudge forward. One of the things that concerns you a little bit, Tavis, is, is a couple of times there I've seen the Darwin players kind of reaching in rather than actually getting in and going after the football, which is not something that they've done a lot of, you know, in anticipate or oh, that easy kick of going to come out and they'll have a shot at goal. Anderson will come in and kick from about 40. Well, he can put his team in front for the first time tonight if he gets it. He certainly he got has. It. <laughs> Straight through the middle. 
As soon as he kicked that, he was on his way back into the yeah, middle, wasn't he? He knew, and almost every single Darwin Buffalo player got around him as well. Just business as usual, not a lot of carry on from him. I like that, just set up again. That's how you know a side's up and about, that when someone does something good and he, he's earned this free kick. I mean, Sam Smith, he's stepped straight back into trouble there and uh, has been taken straight out. And then as we see, Anderson gets up with that uh, second effort right there and Jamar just gives him a four-old nudge and it's in the back. Free kicks there, goal. Buffalo's in front, would you believe it? They will be delirious up in the grandstand. Atkinson doing the ruck work, trying to come out with a footy head. Barlow, Darwin win it from the middle, another clearance for them. Ball tapped down. And now the kick will come out wide to the world's the vacant half forward line, rolling towards the boundary line. Cam Stokes running hard at it. Two of them there. Oh, they got there and they just oh, nailed them and they gave away the free kick. Ogden's going to get it. Had to be. They had double to be. banked him yep. in well, their old did. language. They had him on toast as well. And Lionel Ogden draws the free kick. Look at them. Two of them. Oh, There's the throw that uh, Cam Stokes. As Lon Loglin gets the ball moving forward, Willie Farrah under the ball. Savika off the halfback flank as he's done all year. Gets it out to Malcolm Roses. Gee, I like this guy. Beautiful composure for a young fella. Great acceleration. Gets the handball onto Anderson. Anderson just pumps it forward. Matty Campbell in a two on one. He does well to make a contest from it. Brooke at the back. Shillabir comes through and collars him. Sammy Smith's got a quick kick down the corridor. And a whistle has gone. And it's going to Buffalo's way. Going against Farrah there. Bit of interference there. And uh, Farrah's the one that's come up short. So Josiah Farrow gave away that free kick. So Darwin with the kick out wide, straight into the hands of Jared Stokes on the half forward line, spears it up along the boundary line and straight into the hands of uh, a very happy Shillabier. Now this is not beyond him. His team leads by a point. He's going to kick from 50. We haven't seen him fire too much tonight. He's been working hard. He hasn't got a goal yet, but he's a good kick of the footy. He's a very good kick of the footy. Oh. He is a magnificent kick of the footy. Thank you very much, he says. And he puts them out by seven points. Well, you know, you've got, you know you're running on confidence. You know you're running on adrenaline when you're prepared to go back and have a shot at goal like that. That's his first of the night, but he's backed himself in. I watched him. He, he, he's kicked a few points early on in this game. And uh, Stokes again, the go-to man just out wide here. And then quickly just a step. She'll be at... No one's going to mm, spoil a mark on that man's chest. He kicked eight goals eight on Tiwi Islands one day, Charlie, and I kid you not, he probably should have kicked 12 or 14. Can I tell you the story of this game? Darwin have kicked nine goals to two since quarter time. That's the domination of them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, no wonder, no wonder Ash jumped off. Right. I jumped off suddenly <laughs> took an honour. <laughs> We should he do did. it midway in a horse race. <laughs> As Roker does well, Jakey Rowe Duggan gets the handball out, but Savika's there to chop it off. Roses again, swings on that left boot. Matty Campbell's underneath it. Couldn't take the mark, just flicks it on. But Campbell is around the footy. He can taste blood. Matty Campbell, he has a shot on that left boot, and he's kicked another one. Wow. Here come the buffs. Well, it's a mini stampede is all I can say. And the coach is right there at the front of it, as a as are a lot of his better players. Jared Stokes, Timmy Eldridge, really has been exceptional tonight. Shillabeer, Miles, they've all contributed to this. Malcolm Roses, how's his game been? Yeah, I Fantastic. think he's, he's only 17 or 18, but Well, Jesus. he's put a tackle on to disrupt that ball. Savika, and then he's got another possession there and hurried kick away. Look at this. Campbell has actually had the wherewithal from outside 50 and kept control and then left foot it. Beautiful. Do you know, I saw him many years, a few years ago, destroy St Mary's at uh, Gardens Oval when Darwin hadn't beaten them for years and he single-handedly just tore them to bits. He's a brilliant player when he's on and he's on, uh, starting to show signs of being on tonight. Here's the handball out. Darwin and now I've got a handy lead here, a little push out in the direction of Armat emerging with the footy though was uh, Maloney kicks it inside 50 to the one on one Sambono at the back knocked away from him towards the boundary line gathered in by Ogden Ogden along the boundary line steadies it down just a little bit and this man's gone a little quiet after the first quarter yeah Rory O'Brien we've expected he started out of the gates uh, but the field has caught up to him as O'Brien now kicks long down the line not much there Savika who's really been good after quarter time 
Gets the big spoil away. Now there's a big contest out on the wing. No one can really pick it up. O'Brien pushed up and got the kick forward. But the ball trickles out of bounds and there'll be a throw in. Not far from the scoreboard. A couple of good moves for my mind. Uh, Savika is one of them. Across half back, he likes that space to run and he's really responded rather than going on a man-on-man -man situation. And Jalen Clark up forward has obviously been a good move as well. 11-5 to 9-4, Darwin in front. So the throw in over there on that far side of the ground. Ball knocked away. Little kick off the ground for Southern Districts inside 50. Can they do something here? Farrah with the kick around the body. Will Farrah kicks it around the body. Had Barlow trying to get it, couldn't get his hands on it, rolled away. Went through for a minor score. Darwin in a hurry to bring it back in. Yeah, Joe Anderson did really well there. Just reacted really quickly. Got the spare footy. Buffs are up and about at the moment. He goes long and wide again. The number's there, but once again, not at ground level. Bowden gets the handball over, and Buffs will be happy to see it trickle out of bounds again for another throw in. And Jalen, Jalen Clark is chirping down there. No doubt about that, Ashley. Yeah, and I mean, that's all well and good, but uh, I still think they need to keep their, keep their wits about them, keep the discipline going, and they've demonstrated that discipline in the first 20 minutes. We can rock climb over the top. Well, it is, but it's going to be a free kick against him yeah, because he's yeah. actually blocked the run. Okay. So it's a good call. We'll wait for the... Uh, in fact, we won't see it because Brennan's played on quickly. So Brennan's kick inside 50. Tambling looking for the foot. He can't get to it. He's too far back. Now he tries to run around, try and get around. Jared Stokes, no mean feet. Ball at the 50. Free kick comes out of it. It's going to go to Southern Districts. Dylan Barry... A long way out, as we see. Yeah, yeah the block on Jared Brennan, definitely yeah. there. Dylan Barry goes long with a raking kick at goal. Just falls short and punched over the line for a minor score for the Crocs. They've managed to find Darwin, uh, as uh, we just see the agricultural high tackle there, Sean Armat. They've managed to find a winner on each line, Darwin. Anderson up back. Got Savika across the half back. I think Anderson's been terrific tonight, Joe yeah. Anderson. There's his kick. Little fist from the back to Tambling, who sends it straight back down towards the goal square. Front position, Farrah couldn't take the mark. Jetta gets the footy, lost it under pressure. High kick comes out. All Southern Districts back there. And the mark taken by Brook. And he'll play on, gets onto the left boot, pumps it along right down towards the goal line. Farrah onto the footy, kicks it off the ground. Farrah kicks it off the ground. He might have kicked it. Let's wait on it. I reckon he has. Yeah, they, yeah, he certainly has, and they definitely needed, needed that one just to get a little bit of confidence back in themselves. So Will Farrah gets his third from an opportunist goal. Have a look at it on replay. Yeah, Brook just plays on quickly here, gets it in. Now he's almost... This is the second time in. Farrah's almost got one about 90 seconds ago from very similar. Just read that ball off the ground. Beautiful, oh, beautiful Shepherd too from Leroy Jetta there. Just yeah. giving that little bit extra time and space. I'm back within five points. The almost 20 minutes gone in his third term. We're still no closer to working out who's going to win it. It is a breathtaking game of footy as Brennan doesn't go up for the ball. Mark taken but not paid by Brook as he gets the handball to Jared Brennan. Jared Brennan gets it up. Dylan Barry now coming through. Got the run of play. Oh, Zach Stevenson's on him. I think he could be. There's a free kick being paid back outside the 50. Go back to where it is. And back to Rory O'Brien. I think he got interfered with off the ball. Didn't see it. No, oh, there it is. Oh, he got taken high. The footy, similar it, no, no, but he actually got taken high. So Savik has given him one across the chops. Farah, a chance to get it. Slips over. Pushes it back in. Gives it to Tamling. Tamling loses it. Handballed out to Murawonga. Pat gets over the top of this. I don't think it's going to come out. Or will it? Yes, the kick out by Darwin was a good one. And getting in the way and taking good strong mark. And asked to play on was Josiah Farrah. Up towards the wing. Darwin somehow forcing it forward. Campbell gets in the way there. Kick off the ground. Shillabia right down towards the 50 metre line. And another kick back off the ground. All Darwin plays. Look at them. Four or five of them out there. Marshalling his troops out there was Campbell. Darwin build this away from the danger area. Little chip kick along the boundary line was good. And Shillabia, long way from goal. Go short.
Archies, they're outworking them a little bit at the moment. And this guy's been very good as well, Chris Williams for Buffs. Probably should have given it back to Shillabir there. Shillabir is still waiting. No one's gone to him for the Crocs. And still no one goes to Shillabir. If he gets his handball, he could drain this from outside 50. Joe Farrah gets to him now. That's Chris Williams. About 55 metres out. Not a lot of leading options. Miles wants it right at the top of the square. That's where he's pointing. Williams thinks he's a bit of a chance. Gives it a big right. It's just going to fall short. Oh. And Michael Bowden does well to read it at the back. Gets the handball up to O'Brien. Back to Bowden. Good run out of defence from him. Good kick as well. Oh, that's quality play. Yeah. Piggott wins it. On the wing, straightens it up into the middle, searching for the corridor, got it to Barlow, off to O'Brien, up towards half forward, and a high tackle there, or a late tackle from Anderson. It's given away a free kick, and it will go to Dylan Barry. Barry's going to set it to the top of the goal square, wants Farrah, wants Farrah! Right on the foot, he couldn't take the mark. Kevin Moroni right on him, and he dropped it off his chest. Yeah, good pressure from Moroni then. Very good pressure, because Farrah was set for it. Just, him out of it. just sat up a little bit too much. The kick in's not great. Leroy Jetta normally would swallow those. Richard Tambling there as well. Savika does really well against some quality opposition as Leroy Jetta get, tries to get the kick on the boot. It's smothered. Looked like it was Zach Stevenson. Jamar taps it out to Lionel Ogden. Great tackle from Cammy Stokes, but Ogden does well and gets the handball. Josiah Farah in a one on one with Roses, and the free kick is going. It's going to go to, to Josiah Farrah. Yeah, and a push. It's been paid off the ball. And, and he tips it over. Back. No, it'll have to come back. But it's been paid off the ball. I was just about to say they have let the game go, in my opinion, very well. And then he gets held here. Yeah, I'm not sure where that free kick actually came yeah, from. No, neither do I. It was paid by an out-of-zone umpire. So I don't know what he's seen. He's seen something. And now we've got a blood rule with someone coming Farris, out. Farris chipped over to Michael Bowden here. 30 metres out dead in front. This is a big kick. Massive kick for the yeah. lead back. 67 plays 71. Darwin Buffalo's in front. Ball in the hand of Michael Bowden. He's a lefty. He goes back. He kicks a goal. He delivers. He gets it. He's a youngster, but he's a good one. That famous name, well known in footy in Australia, of course. Yeah, he certainly comes from a good bloodline, Charlie. And uh, that was probably the goal that they need. Now, they get that extra point, puts them in front. Good body on the line, the smother. I still don't know what quite the free kick's for. Perhaps we'll pick it up this time. Ogden's taken without it. Underground handball. Uh, I can't see was what it high? Well, was there I can't see what it was high. I, he didn't actually have control of it. Maybe that's what he's paid. He didn't have control, got held. But, but uh, anyway, that's... Come up on his running sheet. A two-point ball game to the Crocs now as Jamar taps it down once more. Big O'Sullivan does really, really well. And this guy, Chris Williams, has been a real goal for Buffaloes tonight. Roka, one of the prize recruits for districts, picks the ball up. It'll come back. It's going to go to William uh, to Liam Philpot, is it? To Liam Philpot, a veteran of the Buffs. Great article on him today, actually, in the paper. Go short to Chris Williams. So Williams now with a, a low kick inside 50. Shillabia couldn't complete the mark. Gathered in by Cam Stokes. Kick inside 50. Campbell there gets over the top. Bowden with the kick off the ground after the mark. And the mark taken inside 50. Well, there was just a kick and hope in a lot of that, wasn't there? That man Williams again, but he was just in the right spot. This time, I, I actually think this is well within his range. He's right to go back and have a shot as we see Jared Brennan on the screen getting some work done on his hamstrings. Siren's going to sound, so this is a really important kick from the Buffs' point of view. It sits up high, and in going that extra effort, he's pushed it out to the left and out of bounds, and there'll be no score at all. So it is three-quarter time here, and the lead back to Southern Districts. They led by six at uh, halftime. They lead by couple here at three-quarter time. Southern Districts 11 goals, 7, leading the Darwin Buffaloes 11-5. We're here for when the heavens open and the winds howl. We're here for when the water just won't stop. 
We're here for the wet and we're here for the dry. We're here because we know there's nowhere else you'd rather be. And there's nowhere else we'd rather be either. TIO Home Insurance. We're for Territorians. Time to escape cause I'm in need of warmer weather Sail upon the stream to find there's someplace better And I'm going far and wide Ooh. Great Northern Brewing Co. The beer from up here So we can feel forever you feel together So there they are, the Darwin Buffaloes, the coach uh, having a discussion there to Savika, talking to him. He's uh, had a big quarter. Coach uh, is doing a lot of the talking, Charlie. <laughs> well, he's been terrific too. He's just geeing his players up. They've played some terrific footy today. I mean, you're looking through the better players. There's, it's yeah. easier to pick them out of the Darwin side than it is out of the Southern District side. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, I, I, I agree 100%. You know, isn't it just footy at its most rawest now? You know, two points in at a three-quarter time, both sides have had really big stages of momentum shifts and now it's just come down to a war of attrition for that coveted Premiership Cup. That's exactly what you want in the grand final though, don't you? You want it to go down to the, uh, down to the line. I think what we're seeing is we're seeing Darwin. The reason, the reason that uh, it's easy to pick, find better players in that Darwin side is they've made the play for, for the two quarters of this game. And uh, we're seeing some of these first quarter highlights. Jalen Clark, absolutely critical in that second term, kicked three goals master stroke as Cameron Stokes snaps one there. Master stroke by Matthew Campbell. I think the two of the day have been Jalen Clark up forward yeah. and then Savika, off Savika coming away yep. off a back flank which is pretty much where he's played all year anyway. It's been a good battle between these two young guns, Michael Bowden and Jalen Clark but, but Savika off that half back flank and in terms of some of my better players, Charlie, um, Joey Anderson for Darwin, Jared Stokes, and Malcolm Roses has been the turn-up surprise in this grand final, the 17-year-old for Darwin. And then for, uh, for districts, I've really liked Dead Barlow's game. I've really liked Dylan Barry's game. Mm. I think they've been exceptional. I really like Rory O'Brien's game as well, the number one, but he's dropped off a little bit, and maybe fatigue's starting to set in. Leroy Jett has been in and out uh, mm. of the game, but went a bit quiet in that third quarter. Look at this team in there. You, you can just feel what they're feeling, can't you? The camera's in close on them. They're focused. Shillabia with his back to the camera there. Joe Anderson over his head. You can see Sam Bono to his left. This is a team that just believes it can win this. It, it, it believes it can do it in this last quarter. We're about to find out. It's only probably 25 minutes away this last quarter in what's been the most incredible season of football. It has, yeah. and, and tonight Darwin will be even more motivated because, of course, Ty Martin Page, who uh, hurt himself, who was hurt in a game just after Christmas. In round nine it was yeah. against Wanderers, wasn't it? Is here now tonight. He's come all the way up from Adelaide to see his teammates play. So I can imagine the emotion of that. Um, and they just show, they've just shown a little bit, so I sort of uh, don't mind admitting that I jumped off the Southern District's bandwagon at uh, halftime. Jumped onto this. One of the Buffaloes. We'll see what happens. There's that young Roses yeah. you were talking about. Number nine. Mel He's, Roses. He has played very... How composed has he been, Tavis? In, yep. in a grand final at this level, he really has shown a level of composure that everyone should be proud of. It was well done. Very, very clean. Very agile. Very skillful. Yeah, I've been, I've been super impressed with him. I've actually seen him play a few times this year, and I've just been like, who is this kid? He just shows an enormous amount. It's actually his um, acceleration off the mark is, is superb as well. I, I think he's got a really big future, Malcolm Roses, and he holds a key to getting the Buffs home tonight as well. So Southern Districts, that scoreline, we're hoping it's right, 11-7. 
to 11-5. So two points. Two points the margin. Just keep in mind, just keep in mind, Districts jumped out of the starting gate and kicked seven goals in that first quarter, and the Buffs clawed it back. So we've had a line ball game. There's only been 22 goals kicked in this game so far. It's an element of just how close it is. Well, wherever you are, hold on to your seats because we're in for a torrid 25 minutes here in this, third, uh, in this final quarter. One of these teams are going to walk off here tonight with their head up high. The other one's going to think the moment just slipped away from them. Look at number six there, Jared Stokes, outstanding for the Darwin Buffaloes. Broke hair with the job on him, and that man in the middle there as well, Matt Campbell. Can he lift his team here to victory? And they've thrown Shillabeer on the ball as well as Jamar goes up. Oh, Sullivan, geez, he's a good player. Gets the kick away, clearing kick. Michael Bowden leads in the race. He's ahead of Jalen Clark there. He does a little bit of a shimmy, a little bit of a shimmy and a shake. Gets the ball on to Piggott. Piggott on that left foot, kicks down the line. It's a good one, and there's Barry. Barry yep. takes a telling mark on the wing. Tillon Barry. Good footballer. A lot of elevation on the kick. It's going to drop inside. 50. And again, Farrah's dropped the mark. He really got to it. Farrah grabbed the handball out. Player going past. Bangs for goal. Didn't pick up the goal kicker. Roker. Roker it is. Nick Roker. Just when Darwin looked like they were pushing down the forward line. Southern District's got it and took it back and kicked the goal. Well, momentum we've seen in this game is critical. And out of the middle, it's even more important. At the start of this quarter, Barry presents himself further upfield and they get it on very very quickly and it's the big guns that have all had a hand on it here barry farrah can't quite get a hold of it but how quick are those hands from brennan beautiful roker. and the boy from shepparton nick roker very highly regarded player back in vic country as the ball goes up again jamar just thumps it forward as he's done for most of the night it's a good contest at ground level. Zach Stevenson did really, really well. O'Sullivan off to Matty Campbell. Shillaby just couldn't quite get both hands on the ball, and he's wrapped up. He's going to go here, and he's going to get done for holding the football. How is Campbell coming in with both hands there? It's not two <laughs> Southern Districts players wrapped them up. Southern Districts from just backward of the centre circle. They try to get it over the top, and they were hoping that they could get it to Ed Barlow. Barlow's second effort, good kick off the ground towards the 50-metre line in the hope that O'Brien would get to. He didn't. Savika was on his tail, and the ball rolls out of play. And they've started the, be the best here so far. Just they, a little fumbled. And... and Shillaby has actually had a couple of these tonight, which uh, is very much unlike him, but he's had a couple of little fumbles tonight. I think it's the rain we had early on. Oh, such a unique place to play football as though Sullivan gets the tap away. Jared Brennan flicks it over the top to Dylan Barry. He wanted it back. Barry couldn't get it to him. Roker again just throws it on his hand. Shillaby is in there. Gets Joe Farrah a little bit high. Fighting for the footies. Cal Curry. Tackled without it, you could say. Jerry Burrowonga gets a little kick away. Couldn't clear the ball from the area, though. Staunton Shepherds, Joe Farrah. Joe Farrah couldn't get it out either. Jared Brennan, touch of class, gets it out to O'Brien. Good tackle from Savika. And Zach Stevenson gets the clearing kick for the bus. They're not out of danger yet. Matty Campbell keeps his feet really well. Gets a little handball. Probably could have been done for a throw. Roker keeps it moving forward for districts. Dylan Barry on the left foot to the top of the square. Willie Farrah comes flying in but couldn't take the mark. Jared Stokes to Bradley Stokes. Bradley Stokes is swarmed upon by the districts forwards and they rush the ball out of bounds. That's a fantastic passage of play wow. from both sides. And well called Tavis. I've got to say to you, I think the message of Shannon Rusker is doesn't matter what happens get it back into that middle corridor and the rest of you keep it there because all of this passage of football in the last couple of minutes has been about getting it into the middle and keeping it there. Nothing stops. And Will Farrell, a long way back trying to take that mark. It was always difficult for him to do. Ball held up here. Darwin get over the top of it. It's trapped in there somewhere. Umpire has a look and says, no, it's a, a ball I'll have to throw up. And he'll do that. Great intensity. Let's see what happens here. Here's the throw up. It's inside the Southern District's 50 metre line. They've got lots of hands on the footy. They can't get a clear kick away. It came out of the pack. Knocked away by Sambono cleverly. The runner going past with Shillabia. Comes off half back. Kicks it up to half forward. It's a good kick. Got it right over the top. Some hard work to be done back here in defence. Brooks, Brooks is going to get there first. Can he get to it? They come to him. Anderson got to him. Brooks did really well to win it. Onto the left boot. Spears it out towards 50. Just got it past the running players there. Chance for Ogden if he can get 
get there. Ogden is quick. He's really quick. He got his hands on it. Aldridge couldn't stop him though. Kicked up 50. Stephen Anderson. Two grabs. Takes the mark at 50. Now plays on. Kicks long to the goal square. Wants uh, his teammate down there. And he couldn't take the mark. Knocked away from Todd Miles to the boundary line. Oh, you don't see it on the screen. But the work right there of Stephen Anderson was unbelievable. Yeah. I don't know that he wasn't going to miss that foot race. I don't know that he... I don't think the mark was paid. In fact, it wasn't. It was called play on. But everyone stopped thinking they'd been paid. Deep in Buffalo's forward line. Tap comes down. Big Freddie Sleeth tries to keep the ball moving. Jamar just kicks and hopes. No one really wanted it except Shilabio comes charging through. Steve Smith does well. Gets the kick away. It's long down the corridor. Willie Farrer in front takes a telling mark. Great mark, Willie Farr. He's a long way up the field. He's going to spear it to the centre of the circle and get, puts it straight into the hands there of Jared Brennan. And Brennan's kicked down towards the 50-metre line, got over the top. Gave a good chance there for his teammate and Curry to get to it. Savika with the handball in search of Roses, who's been terrific tonight. Little dinky kick to the middle was good. Finds his teammate there in uh, Chris Williams. Williams down towards half forward. He's got a teammate free down there, Shillabia. Takes it inside, 50, good mark. Good build up the Buffaloes. Calm, cool, no panic. No, and Williams again, who I didn't mention in, as part of Buff's best players, but he actually yeah. got a fair bit of that four, ball early. Um, Shillabia, this is well within his distance. He might back himself in here. Now Darren Shillaby up. He's going to line it up and give it plenty. He gives it plenty. He gives it a lot to the line, but knocks through defensively. Good. Done by Fred Sleeth. Minor score. So he didn't quite get a hold of it. No. Shillabia, who was a little bit disappointed, but he's playing through the midfield and blowing hard. Fred Sleeth. Not normally the guy you want kicking in in these situations. <laughs> but he just gets it to Tim Brook, who is a fantastic kick of the ball. He'll clear the area, no doubt, with that raking left foot. Well done from O'Brien. He's been, he started the game really well, had a bit of a lull, but could be really important in these telling moments. Gets the ball up to Curry. Curry's got the sit of play. If he can just get it over, he couldn't. Savika couldn't get it away either. Oh, Joe Curry's Anderson's there firm. in support. Moroni there in support. The ball gets flicked out. Zachy Stevenson does a great job to get it to Anderson. Anderson gets the kick away. It's a one-on-one -on -one contest. They're manned up all over the ground now. Charlie McCadden gets the handball out to Storton. Jaroko again! The boy from Shepparton drains the goal to give the Crocs a little bit of breathing space. Two in the last quarter. Well, absolutely critical, critical goals and good players stand up. High fives all around. And we can see O'Brien had really worked hard. Zach Stevens, unlucky there. They've really, and Anderson, they've done their bit to get it out. But just the persistence of the Southern District's players. McCadden with a quick hand over, and there's Roker. Gee, Mc McCadden was good in all of that. Now, he hasn't he done much tonight, but that was a great angle. But he was composed enough, and the chant goes up for the Crocodiles. Tick past seven minutes in the last term. Jamar again with the thump from the middle, did it really well. High kick up and under. they got plenty of players running forward here. Handball over the top again. Back to Farrah. Out to O'Brien. High kick inside 50. Front position down there was uh, Ed Barlow couldn't get it. Now Farrah again. Barlow looking for it. They'll run out of defence here. Well done. Kevin Moroni comes away with the footy. Darwin across their half-back line. Can they clear to the wing? They can. Out towards the boundary line, a rolling ball rounds out of play. Chilabier after it and Fred Sleeth on his tail. Yeah, Sleeth just did enough there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. He wanted to force the, uh, he wanted to force the ball out without giving Chilabier a clean run. So I think it's a break-even probably to District's advantage there. The boys are getting tired now as McLaughlin does really well to win a clearance. Kicks down the line. Jakey Rowe Duggan against Jerry Barawanga with Leroy Jetter in support. He just gets a kick. It's high. It could be out of bounds on the full. And it is just. So the Buffaloes to return the kick. This just came out the outside of his boot, didn't it? There. And he had Barlow there, a chance on a one-on-one. -on -one. Actually, no, I think it must have been out of bounds there. They're throwing it in. They brought it back to where oh, okay, Leroy so it was. was out of bounds before he even kicked it. Yeah. I wondered about that whether the ball was 100% out, though. Either way, it'll be thrown in. Brennan started to stand up a little bit in this Has. quarter. Well, they're going to need him if they want to win it. And Darwin, desperate for the next goal. 
Little tap down, Tamling left the footy behind. Joe Anderson good in the back pocket, thumps it out towards the wing. It was a good kick, and the mark taken out there, but the free kick is going to be played against Tim Brook. Back to the Rolls-Royce, Jalen Clark kicks three in the second quarter to really give the Buffs a spark. Goes along down the line. Lionel Ogden had the sit, but the ball come through. Sam Bono shown glimpses of his best tonight. And Chris Williams wraps up Charlie McAdam for a ball up. 51 metres out from Buffalo's goal. Some half fumbles have crept into Darwin's game, which I think is a bit of a problem. The tap down, Darwin won it. Little high kick out of the pack with Scrambly. Parked underneath the footy. Shillabier. Uh, he's going to get a free kick, I reckon. They were holding on to him. Yeah. Darren Shillabier from point blank range is going to close the gap down. What an enthralling contest. Still so much foot, so much time left in this game. There's still a lot of football to be played. We've only just gone 10 minutes in the final term. 13-6 plays 11-6. Big Darren Shillabier, runner-up in the Nichols medal, in the best and fairest in the competition just a week ago. From point blank range, kicks that goal and misses. Uh, misses. That roar you heard Jeez. was from the Southern District's supporters. Yeah. Shillaby has missed a golden opportunity. He has as Lionel Lockton kicks it to himself and clears the area. That is could be a really telling opportunity missed from the Buffaloes as Chris Williams, who's had a great game for the Buffs, gets it over to Jared Stokes, his captain, back in through. Couldn't get it out to lose. Leslie Moroni, it was. Got it to Jerry Barrawanga. Jared Stokes oh. reverse through the pack <laughs> like Dusty Martin and kicks a goal to get his side back in it. That's a great goal, Jared Stokes, at a telling time. Well, he just charged through there, and I was just about to say it's those fumbles that are costing, and as we look at the Blue Army. Have a look at Jared Stokes. He wanted that more than anyone. Yeah, and Miles just decided to, to palm it off, and Stokes couldn't shrug. <laughs> Here we go. And that's the fumble I'm talking about there. Those little fumbles like that have crept in. A couple of the missed kicks, but look at Stokes. Bang! One, puts two, the three, on. four of them. Yeah, but he puts on the burner. He gets that ball and he goes, and there'll be yeah. few players in the competition <laughs> that are as quick as him over five. Ball up in the middle here. So goal the difference. Jamar to thump it forward. Sam Bono onto the footy. Uses the handball out wide. They can go forward with Timothy Eldridge out towards the wing. It's vacant. It's a rolling ball there. Getting there first will be Leslie Moroni. He didn't get the footy. It was taken away from him. And a little kick along the boundary line to McAdam. Did he keep it in? No, he didn't. He was in a lot of space and yeah. they're tambling with him. Yeah, that was a missed opportunity there. If they keep that ball in, they're away. They had two or three players and options up forward. 12 gone, final term goal. The difference, Southern District's in front. Particularly with Charles McAdam in space as well, yeah. which we haven't seen a lot of tonight. Would have been a good opportunity for District's gone begging as Jamar can't really punch the ball forward, but O'Brien does really well at his feet. Savika in front of Barlow. Barlow does really well to make a contest. Joey Anderson comes across. Zach Stevenson is being solid in defence for the Buffalo. Gets the kick up forward, but Sam Smith takes the mark. Looks to bring it through the corridor. Gets it across to Bowden. He'll want to get back on his left foot if he can. He can't. Jalen Clark comes towards him. He does another little bit of a shimmy and then does a banana kick on his left boot. It's not the best kick of his career. That's for sure. The ball gets spoiled away and Kevin Maroney comes through hard. But it will be a free kick to the district's captain, Willie Farrell. Yeah, it was Eldridge there. Just tackled him when he didn't quite have possession. Just watch this. Yeah, yeah he just takes is. him out. Oh, he's landed on his head there, Eldridge. Yeah, gee. This is a, this is a real big kick for Farrell. He's very capable from there. He's going to start it right to the goal square, and the defence gets there and smacks it away over the boundary line out of play. Goal the difference. So if, we, uh, if scores are level at three-quarter time, we're going to play extra time. Uh, at full time? At full, at full time, rather. Yeah. We're not coming back. We're not no. coming back. <laughs> no. Could, be another, be, cyclone. Could be, be another cyclone yet. As it's deep in the district's forward line, Willie Farrah picks it up, gets it to Cal Curry, but the ball smothered by Maroney, and we'll have another boundary throw in. 20 metres out from district's goal. Stokes has really rocketed. He really injected himself into this game. He's just, as the captain, he's really forced himself in after a quiet first quarter. This is a tap down. Darwin can get clear here again. Stokes doing the work at that end of the ground this time. A little push out there by Southern Districts. 
Southern Districts need to kick a goal and then they can play this sort of footy. But, gee, you're too far out to, to start milking the clock, aren't you? Well, the thing is, they've thrown... Uh, the, the Darwin's actually taken all of everything that Districts have thrown at them, so, you know. I think Darwin's only been in front once. Here's oh, uh, Barlow, oh, snaps oh, from oh, in the goal oh, square oh, and oh. kicks it out of bounds on the full. They've, they have absorbed everything. As uh, Kev Moroni... <clears throat> Been a really good player for Buffs over the last couple of years. Only a young guy still. Only early 20s. Kicks it long and wide. Good effort to be at the back line. Logged in some big contest here. And Lionel's done well to get that one out of bounds in front of Matty Campbell. That's what you'd be praying for if Matty Campbell was on your tail, wouldn't you? The boundary line. Yep. So Jay Mart to ruck here against Todd Miles. Jeez, he's going to know about it tomorrow, Jay Mart, isn't he? Ruck nearly the whole game. I reckon he's lost a few kilos since he's been <laughs> for this season. Went beat both of, both of them. Tamley went looking for it. Finished up in the hands here of Josiah Farrah. Kicks up towards the goal line. Will Farrah under. Drops another mark. Just couldn't quite wrap it up. Spillage out the Stokes again. Comes clear with the football. Jared Stokes kicks three goals today. Terrific. Upfield. Cameron Stokes with a handball to Jalen Clark. Couldn't get it. Spillage almost oh, a chance. Oh, oh, gets oh. out wide. They've, wide. they've overrun the footy. Jalen Clark onto the right boot. There's an open goal line. He kicks long to the goal square. Oh, Chris Not Williams. Taken back there. Chris Williams dropping back. That is as clever as you'll see, and we will see it on replay. He judged and judged and waited and waited and just used his body beautifully to take that mark. Chris Williams to tie it all up here. Here it is, here it is, here it is. Bang. Great mark. That's a very good mark. That's Gee, this guy's had a great Chris game. Williams kicks the goal, scores level. In the grand final, 13-7 apiece. And again, they got it out of the middle, and it was Stokes across half-back that sent it forward, and they worried and worried and worried their opponents out of the ball. Sambona with a side kick. We might see it up here. Cameron Stokes presented himself. Clark's in there. Here's Sambono. Look, he's gone sideways because he's got a teammate here. How clever is that? Mm. That's Eldridge. Good vision. Yep. Jalen just put it... Jalen Clark just put it straight on that boot, and then he times it. Bang. Great goal. Great mark. Not much goal. Brooke could do. No. He had to watch the man, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. Under 10 minutes. With scores level, Jamar couldn't get his kick away. It's been a lot of smothers in this game. Roka gets a boot on a Richard Tambling. He's got his thigh heavily strapped and gets the kick. And a beautiful mark for it. Bradley Stokes for the Buffaloes. Deep in defence, Bradley Stokes will clear out to the far side of the ground. Big climb again, Southern Districts over the top. Leave it there for Tambling to pick up. Little kick from him, just a dribbling kick forward. Ball in the hands here of Farrah. Josiah Farrah to the goal square. Gets over the top and was touched and threw for a minor score, but it gives the lead back to Southern Districts just by a point. I'll tell you what, Joe Anderson's missed everyone jumping over the top, and that's probably lucky. Gee, I tell you, had he cannoned him to Farrah. Well, he cannoned him to Farrah, and he would have been away like for a kick. Missile. It would have been like a missile. Bradley Stokes goes short. It's a good kick out to Leslie Moroni. Talented young player. Spent some time down at St. Pat's. It's a kick across to Roses, who hits the ground running. Goes long and wide to a one-on-one. -on -one. This is a big, big contest. Jalen Clark and Michael Bowden. And Jalen Clark does very well. And Michael Bowden will be happy to see that ball go out of bounds. Two Thunder, two former Thunder teammates there manning up against each other. And, you know, you'd have to almost say the scores are level each in terms of how they've gone. Probably slight advantage to Clark. 18 minutes gone. Clock is ticking. A point the difference. A goal could make the difference. Here goes the captain, the coach, Matty Campbell. He is superb, just can't get the footy lost over the boundary line. Darwin sort of have it in the area they want it. They're dangerous from here. Oh, gee, it's just... <laughs> so what have we had? Uh, we've had four goals kicked in this quarter. Such an amazing game as Jamar can't clear it. Here's Steven Anderson. Anderson on the right boot. He's dangerous from out there. Pumps it up about 30 metres out from goal. Ball lands on the ground. Hard work pushed out. Steven Anderson in the way. Savika with the little kick. Sends it out wide. Chilabi is going to get there first. Gets it, did really well. Got around Sleeth. Kicks it down towards the forward line. Mark Parkland underneath the footy. Couldn't quite take the mark down there, though. And the kick comes out where J-Mar takes it comfortably out in front of Todd Miles. The big Russian.
go short. It's not a great kick, but Brennan does really well and keeps his feet. He's now got a little bit of time and space. Takes on Campbell. Probably just should have kept going with the kick initially. It's now down to Farah. Cal Curry keeps it in. I thought no, it might balls, have gone out. It has, it gone, has out. gone out. So yeah. ball, ball comes back. Definitely looked out as Jared Brennan clutching his ankle. Uh, he's got a crook ankle, you reckon? He just gets uh, sandwiched here as he kicks. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, oh nice. Nice. that's the problem, the right ankle. Yeah, that's going to hurt. Doesn't it's hurt now. Will hurt tomorrow. It will tomorrow. Here's the throw in directly down in front of us. 19, nearly 20 minutes gone. Point the difference. Southern District's hanging on for dear life. Little tap down. Gathered in Leroy Jetta. Got it out beautifully. Jessar Farah. He's got some space in front of him. Runs to the edge of the square. Kicks down towards the goal line. They need a mark down there. Can Barlow get the footy? Can he use the handball? He does. Darwin get it. Race it towards the boundary line. And through for a minor score. If the whistle's gone, it might be a free kick. It is. Kevin Moroney gets the free kick. I was going to say, two, two points, I know, but we've just gone into time on. Those two points are critical. Well, that was... You kind of want to score. That, that wasn't a point, that one, I don't oh. think. As uh, Kev Maroney goes short to Bradley Stokes, who's done well tonight. It's the kick down the line. Beautiful kick it is, too. And that's a, that's a, that's a really good mark by young Shawnee Armat with his flash boots. All primed for the grand the final. Gets it over to Stephen Anderson. They've got runners now. Shillabeer's getting away from Fred Sleeth. He's within scoring distance. Make no mistake about that. He's going to take Sleeth on. He does. He straightens up and just pulls the kick at the last minute. Out of bounds on the full. And don't the district Three or four let him minutes know about to that. go. Bowden now brings it back to where the ball came. Matty Campbell's got a little bit of time and space. Roker does really well against him. Bit of a push out there from Piggott. Free kick's been paid. And the free kick has been paid. Sean Armat again. 55 metres out for the buffs. Wants to give it to Matty Campbell and does. Matty Campbell just sits it up in the pocket. O'Sullivan's a good player. Sammy Smith at the back. Kicks it back down the line again, but there is no one there for districts. And Big Todd Miles takes a mark and goes short to Shillabeer, but Josiah Farrett did well. Zach Stevenson couldn't quite get the kick there. Roker came through. It was Dean Storn and sorry came through. Now the kick by Leslie Moroni goes straight up in the air. A mark will be paid. No one can take it. Dylan Barry kicks it out of midair. Will Farrah can't take the mark. Cal Curry gets a little kick across. Malcolm Rose is the young man. Sits it up against Shillabia. J Mark couldn't take the mark, but he gets a free kick for too high. Big that was an important part of the game now. 22 minutes gone. The siren's, siren's gone. gone. There it is. One what point. a game of footy. Take a bow, both teams. What an incredible game of footy. They hung on for dear life, Southern Districts, and they get one they've waited so long for. 13-8 to 13-7. Well, the umpires have to go into the middle of the ground. When the score is less than eight points, the umpires have to gather in the middle of the ground and then check off that their scorecards actually match with what's on the scoreboard. Oh, right. Don't tell me there's another drama. Well, we'll see what happens, but one point the difference. Charlie, this has been a tremendous game, and where's the ball? Inside the forward 50 of the Darwin Football Club. So they're looking. We wait on the goal umpires to wave their flags and signal that the score that is on the board is right. It says 13-8 to 13-7. Got a third it, score It has there. Southern Districts up by a point. Flags are The flags out. are coming out. The flags are coming out. The score is being waved off. It's official. All over. Southern Districts have won the grand final 13-8 to 13-7 in one of the most incredible grand finals we've seen in recent times. Ash Menakaris. Uh, that was a thrilling finish to a fantastic game of football. You've got to give your full credit to both sides for going for it, and they went for it for four quarters. Jubilant scenes here for Southern District supporters. Their first premiership 
in uh, more than 20 years. I think it is, Charlie. Is that right? No, not that long. No, no, ten, no, years, ten, 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 years, sorry, yeah. ten years, a bit long. Um, but I've got to say to you, Darwin can hold their head high. They may feel disappointed, but, gee, they had a crack. Southern Districts jumped out of the gates. They were seven goals up at quarter time. They fought their way back into it through some great leadership of Jared Stokes and, and uh, Darren Schillerbeer and the, those guys and Joey Anderson. They just came up short. Tragic, important point. And when you look back over the game, Darwin only got in front, I think, once during the game and Southern Districts were always just kept them, yeah. just kept them out. I think they got out to about 13 points at one stage yeah. in the third, the buffs, and then Districts came home yeah. from there. And, and and in this quarter, their margin was, what, to 8, 13 points? It was, they just never let them get away and you always felt that Darwin were coming and I don't think that they did. They will be heartbroken, no question about it. But, gee, what a game and what a result, Charlie, after a season that we've had. And what a season it's been. Unbelievable. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of it. Uh, any last comment from you, Tab? Oh, just a, an extraordinary game of footy. If uh, yeah, anyone out there, go, go and have a look and, and make sure you watch this game. It's a true game of territory footy at its very, very best. And uh, Ashley. Look, full credit to Southern District. Shannon Rusker has persevered, and I think he's finally paid. They've paid dividends. He had a side that could win a premiership. They went about it. They have definitely been the best side all year, and they were rewarded with a premiership. Well, the top team, the minor premiers, have grabbed the grand final. It's been so elusive for them over the last 10 or 12 years, and they get up tonight in an absolute thrill. I hope you've enjoyed our coverage of it. Congratulations to Southern Districts and the Buffaloes as well for a great game of footy. But Southern Districts, the premiers, 13-8 to Darwin 13-7. Bye from Darwin, from Charlie King, Asti Manakaras and Tavis Perry. So I was, you know, I got robbed of having that feeling of, of winning and that enlightenment of, uh, you know, the enlightenment of, uh, you know, feeling that sensation of winning a grand final because the guys in the box told us or told me that their game was a draw. So we knew the rules that were in place. So I tried to keep everyone as cool as I could and tried to get to the players as quick as I could to calm them down to make sure that if we're going into overtime, you know, we had to you know, make sure that we could steal those five minutes either way and make sure we could win the game. Um, you know, we had guys sipping on beers already and from the crowd that they were passing them around and I was quite disturbed and you know, I was frustrated because I couldn't get to the place quick enough because of the crowd. And uh, then I finally seen the umpires wave the scoreboard flags and I knew it was all over. And that's when it hit me that we'd you know, really won the game. Yes, Jared Stokes was a, was a fantastic, you know, Cheney medal winner. He, he, he played the game extremely well. He was very powerful, but he, again, he kicked four vital goals, and I think, I think it was four from memory, three. I think Jared kicked three goals for the, for the game, and, and young Jaden Clark also kicked three goals to get him back, you know, and start that spark that they're so renowned for. But Jared's power was, was phenomenal to watch. His speed and he could, you know, slice through the packs like a hot knife through butter. And he really, you know, committed them to the cause to stay the distance and never give up. And, you know, his um, ability on game day uh, was, was sensational, second to none, but it brought everyone else with him. And uh, that's what good players do. And I thought, you know, Mark Jamar for us was one of the quality players. You know, I don't think he, you know, missed a ruck tap most of the day. And, you know, he was a colossus in there, but you know, not much needs to be said about his career. But I thought, you know, Jared Stokes was a deserved winner. So, you know, we said individual brilliance. I thought Rory O'Brien and Leroy Jetta's first quarters were, were phenomenal. Um, they really got us going. And then, you know, Will Farrah uh, steps in and kicks a few goals, vital. And uh, Michael Bowden's run out of defence was sensational. I thought Blake Piggott and Cal Curry's, you know, determination and strength to never give up, you know, really was a, a turning point, you know, throughout our season having those type of players. And then I said Nick Roker bobs up with uh, his two goals late in the game. So it was really a team effort. We talk about teams, but not one of our players really dominated the game. It was very much in patches, and when it was their turn, they took their opportunities. All right, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank everybody for being here tonight. It's been an amazing grand final night. We finally got it out of the way. Cyclone Marcus didn't help us there. Third time lucky, it's done. And Southern Districts have fought right to the end with that one point win. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night, and we'll see you Saturday for the rest of the grand finals here for the NTFL season. Um, so, yeah, uh, after nine years, I finally give the coaching job away. It was. Uh... It was a hard decision, but I've got a young family and I run a business, but 
you know, I really love what I've done for the NT football as a community and you know, I thought of left Southern Districts in a great stand, in the standing point um, in the community. I think whoever takes over has got a very good group to work from. Um, you know, we built a team from locals but we've always used our interstate players to top us up, um, to keep us competitive and it's the way NT footy is and always will be, it's transitional so you know, I'm happy that I've done a great job and you know, I, leave, I leave behind a great team and a, and a bit of a legacy. Uh, some of my highlights was you know, playing under Mar uh, Madge McLean and you know, winning the 2007 Nichols medal and winning the grand final that year was sensational. We came from last the year before. Um, we had a coaching change and obviously we win the grand final, which is, you know, uh, credit to Madge. And I also thought, um, you know, the grand final in 17-18 was one of the, my career highlights, definitely getting a group of 35 players committed to one cause and, you know, really committing to the season and they got their uh, rewards at the end. Oh, definitely, there's a lot of people along the way. Thank yous are hard. Um, you know, you definitely miss somebody, but I'd have to say my family, first and foremost, they were, you know, tremendous support, right, you know, from my father right down, you know, to my nieces and nephews and cousins and everybody that supported me on the journey. But I really have to thank Southern Districts Football Club giving me the opportunity to coach the club that I love for so long.